Hot damn 129, dude. We're coming Might in, be. baby. What up? Dude. Might be 129. It's definitely 129. Dude, sure. here's just a quick PSA on brats. All right? A lot of people don't know about brats. Not the dolls. The not R-A-T-Z. dolls. We're talking brats. Damn, no, not dude. those dolls. <laughs> Similar, those, though. That's what they're named after. Those hot dolls. Really? Those super sexy ass dolls. Damn. Why a brat brats? A brat doesn't want to win. They want to wrestle. They're not looking to overpower their dom. They're looking to challenge them. They want to end up on their knees. They just don't want to get there willingly. They want to feel that dominance and be overcome by it. They want to poke, torment, and tease until enough is enough, until they're on their stomach getting the spanking they richly deserve and want more than anything. Yes, dude. dude. That's just straight I think brats. my bae might be a brat. Is she a brat? Oh All my bays God. are brats, dude. That makes sense. Dude. All bays are brats. Well, I've heard of brat training before. What's that? That's like, that was like a fetish where it was like brat training, where like you, it's the same thing. It's like you just, you're, you're, you know, your babe's just up there just the whole night just acting out. You got to be like, listen and fucking, yeah. Like, brat, excuse me, brat correction. Oh. That's a fetish. That's a, that's what that guy's describing. He's that was describing, an unknown fetish for the last one. <laughs> for what? If I called her a brat, she was like, she got into it. Yeah, well, I was like, you're being a fucking brat right well, now. Well, dude, like, that's that's the nature of a brat. You can't yeah, like yeah. reveal them by name. You have to just like utterly dom them to her. Like, oh, you have to dom the, them. This is the spanking I so desperately want. Oh, man. <laughs> that's so that guy's weird. so hot. He's dude. He, that's a hot, what a fucking sexy gay dude. Guy. The, Definitely a hot gay guy, right? No, that's. Nah. I think that was. Just, I think he was into babes. That guy dude. was sending a message out to the dogs, dude. He was not. You think he was trying to, to find brat men? Yeah, dude. He, no, he's a brat. He was. He wants a oh, daddy to come. I see. Him. I. I don't agree. You don't understand the universe well, you're, of TikTok. You're getting that from t- TikTok. Isn't that for people singing songs or something? Kind of, but it's it's now it's kind of like Vine, where it's just fucking the weirdest people on earth. There's a subreddit called Cringe TikTok, and it's uh, so fucking funny. I remember it's what all the, furries dancing to like fucking techno. It's weird shit. I remember that was uh, some guy that I hosted for one of the some comedian I forget. He uh, he was like posting. Is there another one of those too? Where you like you sing your favorite song along Probably. to a camera? There's I think there's TikTok and there's another one. I can't remember the name of it, but he was showing me. He's like, yeah, check it. I like do songs and put them up, and he was showing yeah. the other ones. It's all like 16-year-old girls. And I'm like, Yeah, it's dude. real weird. I was like, you're fucking on this thing? My dude? niece was on it. I just saw my niece yesterday. She's Yeah. She's on TikTok making some cringy fucking videos. Hopefully dude. the brat doesn't They're find her, dude. So funny. Are they really? Yeah, it's so embarrassing. I mean, she's like a she's well, that's a little, what it's for. She's a little girl. It's for a little girl. So she's dude. making like sing she's like singing along to these fucking <laughs> it's so <laughs> How old is she? She's uh 12. Oh, that's a perfect age. Just for a, that. Little chubby girl up in her fucking grandparents' computer room dancing. Dude, that's so <laughs> so fucking, fucking funny. funny. So that's wonderful. But then you get like a this guy was like get a that guy talking doms, dude. You, you get that guy. Yeah, you're, you know, your niece is trying to watch other people dance. Someone's like, yeah, you're just gonna want to be spanked. It's like, dude, get the fuck out <laughs> yeah. of here with your weird bullshit. Knock oh, it off. Man. Had a had a rough. Went home. Oh yeah. You shouldn't be able to talk. I'm, I'm still What's fucking this? about. You shouldn't be able to talk about that kind of shit on like a little platform for little girls and stuff. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that guy yeah, on there trying to weird. get fucking boy pussy or whatever the fuck he's? I don't know what he's after. I'm could t- be pan. I'm telling you, bro. It could be pan. The world that these people are in, that guy's after sniz. You think? Yes. Oh. There's like this whole like weird like goth sniz world. Uh, you know that fucking when they dance like? Have you ever seen them fucking? Nah. Ah. Are you talking about like raver dance? Yeah, kind oh, of. Sure. Except I, with like those like gas masks and like tight sleeveless shirts and then jinko jeans what and like neon green dreads you've never seen this world that sounds like raver culture it you're is me except it's, it's new goth, yeah they do, out, raver, they do they raver like dance in public what <laughs> yeah man i always just thought they were just like boardwalk locals uh they could be boardwalk locals there was always some like hard like very mysterious like goths like aggressive yes. goths and the boardwalk locals yes but that that was then they That's disappeared where... they went underground for a while now they're back are they really there's it's... some weird fucking like ska goth <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> reggae goth yeah. thing it's up to your parents dude if you don't want your kids to be like total fucking freaks do not move <sighs> to like beach towns yeah 
I don't know for why. For sure. It's like, yeah, this will be fine. Well, and it's like, dude, your kid just comes back and is like. That's because boardwalks are like, I mean, some beach towns, like shitty beach towns, are yeah. just like if Spencer's was a city. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like fucking Ocean City and Sea yeah. Isle yeah. is like, yeah. yo, what if Spencer's was a fucking city? Yeah, the local economy is just like based on Weed like. Weed t-shirts yeah, and itch, airbrushed. Itching like, powder and fucking and stink tattoos, bombs. Dude. Dude. Some tattoos. dude, that's the local fucking plies. <laughs> Arizona iced tea, tall cans. Yeah, man. Damn, dude. Just a purveyor of just utter fucking bullshit. Oh, like it's not even like <laughs> bad stuff. Dude, it's kids all just come out, shit. There's just kids are just hitting the oxygen bar, dude, eating fucking Mr. Softy. <laughs> it's just, it really is. It fucks, it fucks Like, it's not up. like it's like cool, bad shit. Yeah. It's just shit. Dad comes home. He's like, I've been selling keychains all day. Where's my <laughs> <Yeah>. boy? <laughs> he just had the boardwalk doing tricks with a yo yo, like, fuck off, tourists. Oh, it's a man. bad world. Beach to get towns, into. dude. Stay the fuck out. Yeah, every beach town. No, exactly. Almost every one I've ever been to is filled with, filled to the brim with garbage. Yeah, how does that happen? I don't know. Again, it's all you put up well, enough Spencer's I guess gifts. You, I mean, I think it just comes to like anyone who has any sort of like money or real say in their life would like be living down Sea Isle and have like an influx of like drunk morons, and then be like, all right, I, I'm gonna move. It's yeah. all the people who can't move who are stuck there, and they're yeah. just like. Crawling in <laughs> They're skin. crawling, dude. They're crawling in their skin because too much itching powder. <laughs> they got too much itching powder down at the fucking B walk, dude. <laughs> They're fucking crushing funnel cake. Yeah, dude. All you can do as a fucking local is just put your fedora on, dude, and head down there. Put your cut fingered gloves on. Yeah. Your oh, your big J gloves? <laughs> your dice gloves? <laughs> yeah. Your dice gloves. Dude. You might have been both of them might have been locals, dude. Dice is, dice seemed like a fucking boardwalk guy. <laughs> we walked we walked in the green room. The first time we met Dice this weekend, he was like, What do you, what do you think Vince Papali's net worth is? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, you're, you're smart. He didn't even say really, he didn't even say hi to us. He was just yeah. like, you're, you're good with computers. Tell me where Vince Papali's house is. Yeah, Show me his house. Weird. That was a weird interaction. Well, I think it was also funny because like, no one was excited to see him. <laughs> yeah, no one gave him. It was Everyone just like, was like, it's, it's, like it's fucking- cool, but it's like, get out of the green room, yeah, you fucking dude. geezer. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was sick. I, it was just It funny. was awesome. Dice it, was the man. He's, dude, Without dude, a doubt, that guy's fucking hilarious. Clearly the man, but you have to understand, like... 20 years ago, we would have been in awe. If we oh. Bill and Tedded ourselves and we were back there, we would have been like, oh my God. It's yeah. We're just like, who's in that back? I was like, dude, tell me. Like, Dice is back the there. Do you want to go here. back there? I was like, I'll sit in the hallway. Just yeah, tell I, me like, I'll just, I'll I, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be back there and stand and listen to him. That being said, he was the fucking man. Yeah, that, all that being said, Dice yeah. is without I tried a doubt. to stun on him, dude. They were like, we were, uh, I was out eating like, right outside and the manager, Ben, was like, do you want to get a picture with Andrew Dice Clay? And I was like, dude, just tell me when he leaves. I don't give a fuck. And then like, 10 seconds later, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get, yeah, 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 get, get that picture. picture. Dice man. Got to get that picture. Pretty tight. Yeah, that was awesome. How about him fucking making his Instagrams, dude, attacking Shafir? <laughs> <laughs> Tossing us in it? <laughs> I, almost doubled, I was about yeah. to double down and be like, yo, fuck this shit, <laughs> Yeah, dude. dude. He was, uh, I'm he's, Team Dice. I we're don't just know what sitting back there. Was. Oh, the reason it started was because they remembered me from Ari Shafir's party. That's uh, when I first met them. So they like. So you met the dice man. Yeah, but he didn't remember. Gotcha. So the lady he was with was like, "You met him before. He was at Ari Shafir's party, and that without like he didn't even say like, oh yeah, he was just like Ari Shafir's a cocksucker, just like right <laughs> into just like. You ever been on his story show? Yeah, he's like, does he still have that story show? <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it, Dice is the fucking man. Yeah, just right away. And then he just started, he took his camera out. It was started like, filming Ari himself, Shafir. be like, Ari Shafir should be a vacuum salesman. He's a piece of shit. Isn't that right, Shane? <laughs> held the camera up to my face. And I was like, uh, I think Ari's pretty cool. <laughs> like, I didn't, come on, man. I was man. about to ride with Dice just on You should have ridden with like, Dice. Fuck Shafir, yeah, dude. dude. Should be like team fucking Dice all day. I, I, well, I am, dude. For the I know. Record. Dice He's, is He the focused man. on me and I was like, yeah. I showed uh, Claire Dice. A while ago, like I was yeah. showing her like comedy. First off, I showed her uh, Bernie Mac, mm-hmm. the fucking I ain't scared of you, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, I don't understand why this is. I was like, you don't understand why this is incredible. Oh this set God. is like, she's right though about his material. His material in it is like, doesn't even make sense. No, oh, dude, this is hilarious. He's like, uh, she's like, Bernie. He's like, yeah, that's my name. Like, dude, I you ever it- had pumpkin pie? Or he's like, does pussy taste like pumpkin pie? 
He's like, bitch, I even have no pumpkin pie. Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> like, She's like, what's the joke there? Well, the pie, black people like, don't, don't, don't eat pumpkin pie. pie. Yeah, he eats fucking pussy. And pumpkin. He eats pussy. He don't eat pumpkin he pie. He ain't eat no pumpkin if pie. If you ask him what sweet potato pie tastes like, he'd be able to tell you. He'd tell you. Dude, he don't eat pumpkin pie. Does pussy taste like pumpkin pie? Pum- if you, offend, if you offer no pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pie to a black person, it's offensive. They get mad? It's almost, it's like the next <laughs> thing to say in the N-word. If you're like, you want some pumpkin pie? Why? That's like the get out spoon, dude, hitting the cup. You give them pumpkin pie? You're trying pie? to whitewash them, yeah. Really? Yeah, black people don't fuck with pumpkin pie. You ever have they sweet potato pie? No pumpkin pie. <laughs> Did you ever have sweet potato pie? That's it. <laughs> I had no pumpkin pie. Kick it! Dude, it's <laughs> it's so I'm, good. Because I'm blessed down there. Yeah, I'm big boned. It. <laughs> Yo, I like, take it out, I'll block out the light. He's <laughs> like, if I take it out right now, I'll block out the sun. Kick it! <laughs> <laughs> now I think about it, his material dude, The material in that dude. makes no sense. I know. Except when he's like... When she's riding you and answers the phone, and you're giving her the dick, <laughs> she's like, uh, "Hello." <laughs> oh, and the joke at the end. His closer is so fucking funny. What do he say? He's like, "Every person that everybody he like basically advocates snitching." Yeah. He's like, "Everybody in here thinks he's like, wait, you serving time for another motherfucker?" Uh, he's <laughs> like, "Yeah, I ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. I ain't." He's like, "I ain't snitch. I ain't no punk." He's like, "You ser- you in here for another motherfucker?" You ain't no punk, but you a new fool. <laughs> he called him a new fool. He's like, if I was in there, if I was testifying, he'd be like, Yana, that's the motherfucker that did it. I tried to call you. You didn't miss. <laughs> I tried to I still don't call you. <laughs> yeah, dude, he is so fat. That set, so that fucking set fun. His is, gear is out of control. He's what, He's got airbrush picture of himself airbrush on his pants. Airbrush of himself in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude was unstoppable. Oh my god. That's sad. That yeah. is the Bernie Mac. So your bae was just like, I don't think it's funny. Well, she wasn't totally against it. I mean, she did I, I mean, no matter who you are, you can't deny the sure. the pageantry. Yeah, and the fucking, exactly. I mean the yeah. fucking like just the crowd going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, dude. But especially I like I made her rewind it. I was like, watch the beginning. Like these people are like mad. Yeah. Like people have their feet on the stage, like leaned mm-hmm. back, like just sign like, of aggression this, at a stand up show. Sucks. Yeah. And he came out just right away. Dude. He's like, I love sex. Love it by the pound. <laughs> <laughs> like, you imagine if they sold sex by the can? Motherfuckers be stealing it. <laughs> Shoplifting it. <laughs> Kick it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was like basically Bill Burr's Philadelphia thing. We came to a hostile crowd. Apparently everyone out. had bombed that night. Yeah, that's what happened. He they came booed, out. They yep. booed Dom Herrera. He throws that in. Yep. He's like, you boo a fucking legend. Oh, it's so fucking yeah. funny. Uh, but that I showed her dice also. And I was like, wait till you see this shit. Bays and typically bays don't hate. like the dice, man. New bays, new fools. All the new fools. All the new fools. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no punk. You a new fool. <laughs> you they a new fool. They don't like the dice, man, dude. I've tried to show her Fuck. the bit about the nurse and the doctor, and they're just like... Furious. Hey, what's so funny about this? It's just like, all right, all right. It's like, dude. That's one of the funniest dice bits in, in the world. Which one? He talks about, he's talking to a nurse, and he's like, everything's fucking nice. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I'm a nice, but I want to be a doctor. And he's like, <laughs> you're going to be a nice, you fucking stooge, because you're a nice. Dude, it's so fucking. <laughs> well, you going to medical school? No. Then you're going to be a fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's actually a solid bit. That's so funny. Oh, dude. Just him saying man. nice. I'm a nice, but I want to be a doctor. The one where he's like, I see you've done your homework. <laughs> well, so have I. And then he starts doing new nursery rhymes, and the place is like, holy fuck. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Then we went and saw him. We're just like, oh, what's up, yeah. dude? We're all just standing there like, yeah, like, hurry up. Right, get the fuck out of here. shit up, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he had, a, he had a turkey sandwich in the fridge, and the, he, the girl would like start to give it away, and he'd be like, I might want that. And then he'd wait, and be like, nah, you guys can have that. Take that turkey sandwich. And I was like, all right, can you get the fuck out of here, please, man? Thanks for the pick. Oh, man. I took, I took Okani's a picture. King, I took a, a picture with Okani and Dice, and I told Okani, he's like, where's that picture? I'm like, oh, I deleted it. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to delete it. <laughs> yeah, I gave it to Okani. That was yeah, a Okani solid boy. effort all weekend, dude. Yeah. The dogs on that line. Oh, that man. was fucking fun. What a fun night. Both God nights. Damn, I actually have a. Uh, All those. Everybody that showed up. Thank you. Yeah, dude. I have thank a shout you. out. Yeah, dude. I got some shouties. I Fucking. Got, I have one. I saw these dogs and I was talking to them. First of all. Shout out Bridget. My friend Bridget. She's been a fucking day one supporter and I never I never shouted her out. 
Oh, look, dude, shout out. Adrian Sandiker just, just joined us. Perfect timing, Adrian. You got a fucking shout out. Who was that? A lot of people don't get that on the page. Oh. Baron Von Crumstick, what up? Yo, Baron Von's a man. Baron Von Crumstick. Dude, b- booty and Tarpy, shout out, dude. Oh, yeah. They, they dude, were, booty yeah, and Tarpy? Yeah, yeah, Booty and Tarpy are wild. <laughs> booty and Tarpy are the fucking dogs, dude. I think I gave them a box, too. Tim Howard, Jason McCarthy, <laughs> Nason Lemon, Brett McManus, Jared Adams, Maddie Todd, all the boys, dude. Yeah, John. Dude, dude how, <laughs> about, how about fucking Joe's box? Joe's box. I fucking left those Joe's boxes at Tower Pizza. <laughs> I forgot the Joe's box, dude, dude. So, and this this was a tough this was a tough call. You know, when you're when you're running an, organiza- an organization, you got to make tough calls, dude. Yeah, that's you know. But someone approached us with a they had a business where they want to supply people. Uh, it's a monthly subscription of basically pocket pussies and snacks, general yeah. snacks. And he was, you know, they're trying to link, and I, I had to make the decision. I said, I, I can't. I just I cannot have. Um, sponsor overlords dude i can't have it but i was like your idea is funny enough to where i'll yeah. just tell people we support joe's box we support joe's for box. sure if you want a pocket pussy and pocket pussy and some cheese it snacks <laughs> go order joe's box yeah dude google i think it's joe's box.net or yeah. something it's a pretty we'll funny when he approached me i'm like i i don't care yeah he's like well we'll figure i'm like i'm not i don't want any part of it i'll just i'll put it out there for you because it's it's a sick service you're doing sick idea dog, dude. the dogs will love it dude there's yeah. like cookies and fucking flashlights and shit Go get it. Just yeah. gets a pocket pussy delivered to your house. I just house. wonder, how, one a month, dude, that's like, that's like, that's... You're banging snacks, dude. That's true. That's just <laughs> a lot of snacks. I mean, they kind of take care of themselves, dude. If you're banging that many snacks, <laughs> yeah, you're exactly. going to need some pocket pussies. <laughs> They're going to come in handy, dude. <laughs> That'd be tight. You gotta, uh, he's, he has to go international. Yeah. You should go fucking Indian on that. Send that to India, dude. Oh, oh my God. You start the sending Indians? Vagine, dude, over snacks there? Snacks and Vagine? <laughs> exactly. Maybe they send snacks. It could be like a relief effort. Send snack. That's just, the UNICEF should buy him out. That should be like a standard relief effort. If you get trapped after like an earthquake, they just drop you like a fleshlight and some Cheez-Its, and they're like, all right. Yeah. It's not bad. I'd be fucking delighted. Yeah, dude. That'd be that'd be big. They don't think about that. People get trapped in those situations, and they still got to come. It's like... You still got to nut. You got to eat and come. Those Thai boys? Oh. How yeah, long were those freaky, boys trapped in that dude. cave? And those are young... Thai those, boys are in the cave? Yeah, those boys in Thailand that got trapped in a cave Was a while that ago. Recently? Yeah, it was like a soccer team. Some sexy boys. You they gotta watch like, that. Yeah, they were sending down they were sending down dudes to rescue them and the dudes would be like, I got trapped too. <laughs> they just stayed down. They just stayed down for an extra few days. There was just a door leading oh. to the cave. Just some Thai boys trapped in there. God damn. You know dude. how much they were jerking off while they were waiting? Oh, dude, they They were like some... thirteen year old Thai boys. Oh, stop, dude. They might have fucking flooded the place more. That's Asia. That's extra crumb. True that, dude. dude. There must have been a slick layer There's of cum. There's nothing gay about having relations with an Asian sweet boy. Are you sure? You positive. I've I, me and my brother used to go to a Thai restaurant and there was a there was a waiter. He was, was a, a sweet boy. Certified Asian sweet boy, dude. God. My brother was like, yo, I'm I'm giving you permission. Like, cause he would like make eyes at me. My brother was like The sweet boy would? The Asian sweet boy, the ASB would hit me, like hit me with eye, like little cupid eyes. And my brother's like, dude, I'm I'm telling you right now, there I, won't, is... I won't judge you if you bone the Asian sweet boys do not count. Yeah. You can definitely it's no problem. There's a there's a weird undertone here of them not counting as men. No, no, no. But I I'm saying there's something to... different. They're a unicorn. Asian sweet boys are something. Asian sweet boys are something. You can something from a different planet it's like the, where they're no, just ever, sexual energy. Just you ever oozes read, uh, out. The that, those butts, dude. You know how nice those tight little fucking sweet butts must be. They're just be? so graceful. That's a problem. And they're graceful. It's what the fuck is that? Uh, not the last. It was the Shogun, the book. Mm. It's the last samurai was based off that. They talk about the Willow World and how like these like they'll uh, in Japan they would like raise from the time they're children to be basically like prostitutes. Sweet boys. Sweet boys, sweet girls. <laughs> oh, they would get the sweet babies. <laughs> they have both. Yeah. So then the willow, the, the lady who was like the the head mistress or whatever would always talk about the willow world and like that was like something some people were just like sent into to live in and it was like in the willow world like all these rules don't apply. Like if you want a little sweet boy, they'd be like basically telling the girl. I remember at one point she was training her. She was like, they might request a little boy. They might request like a boy, and they were like. This is the Willow World. None of the real rules apply. It's totally natural. And they'll go out and like go do their government posts. What do you think of that? It's the Willow World. That's probably where my brother got all that inf- that fucking wisdom about That's the where sweet he, boy. Yeah, he was like, "It's the Willow World, dude. It's like it doesn't apply." Unfortunately, now it's broken down to like human sex trafficking <laughs> and like sex. Labels. Well, Trump didn't even get off the plane, dude. He just hung out. 
Where? They went when he went with the Clintons to the Willow World on that plane. Oh, on the Epstein's Island. <laughs> the Epstein, that was the Willow Trump World. Trump stayed in the fucking. Trump just hung out with the staff and yeah, fucking sure. talked shop. He was yeah, exactly. Well, he only he's fucks, a man of the people. Only fucks Russian sniz. He only fucks elite Eastern Bloc sniz. Yeah, dude. He probably went down there, saw the menu, and was like, "I'm staying on the plane." Yeah, he's, he's like, probably boycotting the weird. menu. He's probably boycotting the menu. Definitely. He's probably like, "What?" He's he's a fan of big mature naturals. Trump loves big mature naturals, <laughs> dude. He was like, "Wait a second. Yeah, true. His wasn't an ethical stance. It was purely like a what they were purveying. He's like, "Well, I'm boycotting you guys. You don't have my favorite flavor, dude." In that documentary about him, there's a documentary of him on Netflix that like Trump. I think it was on a, a AMC first. Yeah, I forget. There's a documentary on Trump on the net. There was a time where he was like calling this newspaper talking about how much sniz he got as a secretary. He was like, "I work for Mr. Trump." He gets so much pussy. Put who, that in the newspaper. Who did that? Trump was calling like the New York Post or the Times. Like, let it be known. And being like, hey, just, you know, I mean, he gets a ton of pussy. Probably pussy every day. His secretary relayed that? He pretended to be a secretary. And oh, it was literally, you could tell it was him. God, dude. He's calling in and being like, no, he's the man. He gets so much fucking pussy. What? Yeah. Trump's I mean, he was probably a retarded probably a, dog, dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> a retarded dog, dude. He's probably been on a daily diet of sniz, like different sniz since like yeah. 1983. Sniz and McDonald's on, on like <laughs> private jets, dude. It's a, you can't even write it. You couldn't imagine that. Like the worst part is I could literally imagine his face, the face he makes when he gets hit. Just like looks to the side, bo- exactly, bottom lip sticks out and he just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got one of those faces where you can exactly imagine you can his see fucking, his cum face. Oh, well, dude, for, for sure. sure. Eyebrows Trump come down. It's on the him. same one I want to see when he gets shot. <laughs> when he drops, when he's at a podium talking shit and he gets hit, I just want to see him for one second. Be like, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> And you'd hear it because he'd have a microphone. You'd hear his last like. <laughs> it would. I mean, again, it'd be a great tragedy to lose the big sassy dog. For sure. <laughs> but man, that one clip would be worth it. <laughs> Get All the remixes now, like they didn't, they didn't exist yeah, with JFK. Auto tune in, be like, here yeah. comes the boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, so on the way home, I, I went home for Mother's Day. Saw my fam. Nice. Saw dude. my fucking TikTok niece. Yeah, oh, dude. She was TikTok. <laughs> Is that how you? She found wanted it? a shout out. She was like, "Give me a shout out For on the sure. cast." I was like, "You can't listen to the cast." No, no, you can't. Definitely not. And I can't let your name out there. The dogs. Oh, dude. dogs. Dude. The last thing I need is the dogs posting your TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so mean. If someone was mean to her, I would kill them. Oh, that would be. That'd I would be fucking fight, kill them. I would raise arms hard. I dude. would explode, dude. I, I would don't like that. Yeah. That would be that would be war, but uh, she's she's great. She she's obsessed with me, which is oh, so, funny. so funny. And the rest of my family hates it. They're really? Like, Why do you fucking like Shane? That's so funny. And she just yeah. She wants to be. She like loves comedy. Really? It's really funny. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking which is awesome. good. Their life's fucked up enough that <laughs> she'd be good. Exactly. She could be a good comic. You're about to bring her to the Willow World, dude. And Whoa. Of comedy. Of comedy, dude. Of comedy, <laughs> What the dude. fuck? No, of comedy, I'm saying. That's not the... What do you mean, Willow World? I'm just saying it's a whole alternate... It's a different alternate reality. I'm not saying you're going to bring her and train her to prostitution. <laughs> I'm saying, like... That, so, you're, you're I was like almost... The shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're like the madam observing her, like, yes, perfect. She is. I mean, if you're Stand-up a kid... Stand-up comedy is a different Willow World. If you're a kid world. with a weird enough life, you could be a monster. Yeah, or if you're a kid with, like... A not weird enough one, you could just be mildly amusing at open mics and fucking. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you can do it. Yeah. Um. So I was on my way home, hit some traffic. Yeah. On the way back from being on the way on Saturday. Favorite uncle. No, on the way to becoming gotcha, favorite gotcha. uncle. Yeah. Uh, hit some traffic. Mm-hmm. Had to piss. Had to fucking piss. What'd you do? I'm on the phone with O'Connor. He's telling me go for it. It's like go piss in a bottle. Oh yeah. Go for it. I can't piss in a fucking bottle while driving. You were still moving a little it bit? It was still moving. I still was moving. Yeah, it's tough. And then I finally, I couldn't take, and it was a two miles before the rest stop. I was like, just hold it. And I couldn't. I Stopping couldn't up. hold it. So you should just pee on the floor of your car. I pissed. I tried to piss in a fuck. I had a Pedialyte bottle. Yeah. And so that was a big jug. But I my, I had such a tenus. I had to pee so bad. You had a highway tenus, dude. I had a Tight little highway tenus. <laughs> it was such a tenus. Like if I was sitting down, it was just straight. It was a tenus just straight in the air like a mortar, dude. That was how it was, it was resting on my nuts, just a straight tiny tenus. 
So I had to, like, in order to get it even into the bottle, I'd have to basically stand up. You have to defy gravity and pee. I had to like stand up like this, and then, but the tra- <laughs> then when I finally decided to go for it, traffic started moving. <laughs> Like I finally got to the front of the traffic, so then I like had to start. Dude, I literally pissed my pants. I pissed all over myself, <laughs> covered, covered. Did in you me. really? And it was a tinnitus, so it was like going fucking. <laughs> it was going wild, dude. Straight tinnitus, just all over the place. And I kept trying to hold it, but I had to pee so bad. Then once you started, once you started, I, it all. I was just like, fuck it. I didn't. I didn't care at all. There was no shame in this. I was just straight pissing I was saying, everywhere. What you can do is take the floor mats up and just pee on your metal floor. True. And it's when you get there, just go to a car vacuum and vacuum up your pee and <laughs> set it back in there. <laughs> no, I just went piss all over myself. And would then you, what? Would you get some gear at the rest stop? No, I just drove it home. Drove There's home nothing wrong with pants. it, dude. There's nothing wrong with it. Drove home. I actually got out at a rest stop with piss pants. So like what? Like full fucking piss. <laughs> so what, dude? I didn't care. That's fucking. That's that's. Walked nice. in with a ring of piss on my pants. <laughs> well, if you go, if you piss hard enough, no one expects it. They're like, no way, this guy. Yeah, I was, I was just, I was like, I'll just tell someone I spilled something. <laughs> if someone's like, hey man, hey Mister, did you, you piss your pants? That's the funniest thing is if outside I can pee in an alleyway and get arrested, but I can just piss myself in public. <laughs> like, True. You, you can't get in trouble. Dude. You can't. You can't. They can't do a damn thing, dude. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. If you if see you, the cops coming, just pull your pants just up. Just piss yourself. Just piss your pants. Yeah, like, that's it, man. Or just go stand next to a cop and like, can I pee outside? Like, no, I'm like, okay, and just pee your pants. And just lock like- eyes with him. Lock <laughs> eyes with him and piss. <laughs> I actually uh I like go. I actually want to install a little like motion night light above my toilet because I walk to my toilet in the middle of the night just almost piss every on the night. Floor. Dude, I, I like have this uncanny ability to like I'm hitting the water every time. The other night, dude, I just fucking miss. And it's chaos miss when you start missing. Because then you start trying to aim. Dude, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my! I just sent two hard laser streams to the fucking floor. And I was like, I hit again. <laughs> toilet seat, straight toilet seat splattered. Did you everywhere. clean the floor? I never clean it. If I piss on the floor, I just walk away. I don't dude. like turning lights on at nighttime, so I do everything in the pitch black. So then I just rolled up. So I found like fuddled around for the toilet yeah, paper, throw rolled some it. up, wiped a little, threw yeah. it away, and then those like. I'm going back yeah. to sleep. And Brittany will be like, there's dry pee everywhere. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, well, fucking, that's, you don't have to stand up and pee. I was like, it's easy for you to say. Uh, needless to say, though, my, my father was. So you, you went home. And my ma- father was delighted. That you pissed yourself. That I pissed my pants. <laughs> he was through the roof. He was so happy. So you came home and were like, guys. like, you're I- 31. It, yeah, that's what he always, he's like, what are we, 31? 31 years old. <laughs> Pee in his pants. <laughs> like, <laughs> I came. I came home and they were like, "All right, we're we're waiting for you to eat." And I was like, "I got a shower first. And they're like, "What?" I, was like, I, I told them. I, I was like, "I pissed my. Pee, I peed my pants." <laughs> On the way home, I pissed my pants. <laughs> I've never done that. I usually. I've never tried to drive and piss in the bottle. Did you ever have? Did you ever see someone pee out the window of a moving car? No, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> My friends would do that in high school. They'd go ahead. We were on two hundred two, and they would just pee out the window. It's so fucking it just funny. Sprays all over sprays. the car, dude. dude. I the one time me and my friends went to UNC Duke. Yeah, we went down the whole way down. I was drinking, so I was pissing in bottles. Yeah, as I was in the back seat, I could pull it off. Yeah, exactly. Pissing in bottles. Didn't have a penis. Yeah, I had a dude. Yeah, nice. You had a nice a drinking fucking hog. penis. I had. <laughs> <laughs> trying to wrangle that thing that required it needed two hands like i couldn't just put it in the you gotta watch for truckers I had two, dude i had a fucking plier like grip with my hand just two fingers <laughs> trying to contain this team <laughs> the fucking team was not you had, to be you had an unwieldy tennis wildly unwieldy dude, truckers are you know truckers, truckers are above are the fray the whole time their, their tennis vision strong dude. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that thing was sprint. But anyway, I was pissing in a bottle the whole way down, and then I would just pour it out. <laughs> <laughs> the cars behind you, you'd see them turn the, turn the wipers on, <laughs> flying down the highway, just pouring oh piss out. Oh, my God. That's so Those were the days. Funny. Yeah, just fucking pouring piss on people next to you. I remember showing, someone showed me that like on a highway, if you turn on your windshield wipers, it blasts people behind you. Oh, yeah, you. that's what I do. every If, if someone's acting... Unruly, I'll them? fucking crush them. Dude, I had a, a car that used to shoot it like three feet to the side. The thing was broken. I had an explorer. Was, if I just drove past people, yeah. I could go and squirt them. <laughs> yeah. It was like the Green Hornet. Yeah. <laughs> you had a fucking <laughs> sick-ass car. What's up, bro? Throwing in a fucking Dude, that's dip, so dude. funny. I so can't you, believe I pissed my pants like that. So you, But you got led into the world of TikTok. TikTok is... 
you got to go to t- it's cringe TikTok on oh Reddit, God. and it's every video is just it's the it's literally retarded people. That's so fucking making funny. like vines of them. Just, it's let me tell you something. It's about all it. oddly sexual. It's a lot of like anime furry type shit. Why are they putting that shit on there with kids, dude? I don't know. Some motherfucker because it bullshit. is like into cartoons. Adults that are into cartoons, there's like a weird sexual. I don't know. I don't like it, bro. Yeah. You saw what? South Park's the only exception. They are pedophiles. I just don't I'm not know talking why... cartoons like Family Guy and fucking American Dad I'm and saying, South Park and shit. I'm what... talking like dudes that watch like obviously like My Little Pony and shit like obviously, that. Obviously, dude, that's fucking There's like sick. such a weird level of like sexuality. Guys who watch Teletubbies and want to like put on the fur suit and come all over themselves. Yeah, dude. Keep them away from your fucking kids online. Yeah. But they're on TikTok, man. They shouldn't be on there. What's the fuck's the other, the other one's like Musy or something? Or I forget what it's called. This guy was on there being, look, this is a video I made. This is like a dance in a video. And I was like, okay. Keep a fucking eye on you, dude. The crush on there is the Iceman. The, the Iceman. TikTok's for the Iceman. I th- I'm guarantee he's on it. He, he, does, was doing, he was doing TikTok before TikTok. Before TikTok. He does your turn, my turns. He was making those fully TikTok. That's what TikTok's designed for. Yeah, to like copy or something. Yeah. Like to you act out, like you sing the song or you do like a movie quote. He was literally doing TikTok. Yeah. Iceman's videos are the shit. Dude, you got to see the fucking Iceman. We should start posting those on the Reddit. We'll put them in. We got to get the Iceman some fans. Yeah, his shit is fucking tight, dude. You ever realize how much he looks like Ben? (laughs) (laughs) Iceman Iceman kind of does look like Ben. He looks like a bigger Ben. He's Big Ben, dude. He could be Big Ben. <laughs> He's Big Ben. <laughs> I never thought about that. Yeah, I always thought he looked like the Big Ice Ben. The Iceman would savage Ben, dude. I don't know. Ben Ben might savage. No, Iceman's dealt with, like, swords. Iceman's got, like, weapons. I used to sword fight the Iceman, and we used to work for the same electrician, and I, I would we'd get, like, PVC piping. and we, What the fuck? No, we're using uh, the metal conduit. And we'd have sword <laughs> the fights. Iceman. Dude, he, he, gave himself, he gave himself the Iceman. So we would fuck. we would take it, and I gave him the... Uh, I think he started Darth mauling me. He, like, doubled up on a long boy. Of course he did. Swinging he's all, like, he's such a showman, dude. <laughs> he is such a showman. I told you, he did stand-up at Helium before. <laughs> Did I tell you that? No. Oh, it was so fucking funny. I got him on the open mic list. And he went up there and just told like joke book jokes pretty much. And he did one of his was his own. And then like my boss, the electrician, just sat there the whole t- he thought he thought it was still cool to heckle. So like when other people came up, he'd be like, You stink. And, like put his head <laughs> there. It was so funny, dude. Oh man. Yeah, that was a glorious night when the Iceman went to heal him. Fuck, we haven't talked about Iceman in forever. I know. I gotta Ice start. Iceman vids are the shit. He I gotta start pumping loves shit up. Ninja Turtles. Oh, for sure. He loved the turtles. Dude, it's it, it's turtle time. I mean again well, though. We're gonna he put is, people onto his insta. He is like a showman for sure. with swords. Of course he picked up the he went Darth Maul Dude, with it. Dude, Darth Mauled me and we were just going cling, 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 hitting this thing together. It was so There's fun no way fun. he let you in. No, there was no chance, dude. There's no way he would lose a sword battle no. to a fucking and amateur. We were standing on like a pile of like other conduits, so the ground was a little slippery. Like it was slipping around that's in your a, feet. That's the last place you want to face the ice man, <laughs> dude. You I, he be was fully ready to fight. He went full fucking just started spinning that thing around. I was like, oh, what the fuck was I thinking? This is a horrible. Yeah, how idea. would you step in? I the went ring. dual. I went two dual. Short you went swords. dual. Yeah, he was just playing, 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 playing. He just batted your shit. Never do that. Never don't, face don't the ice. I did. Don't face what did the ice. <laughs> did he like run into a shed or something? When was this? Could have sworn he like demolished like a wall or something. You told me a story about him. Uh, fucking. Nah, it's not I can't guy. remember. Iceman can't lie though, right? Can't lie. Can't lie. I mean, dude. this is when he got. He got. <laughs> he's a sword sword wielding <laughs> truth teller. He dude literally cannot lie. When we first, I think now he learned how to like slowly do it. But like when I first started working. For his uncle, uncle and this builder. His uncle. His uncle. <laughs> when, we, when I started working for his uncle, and then there, we were working for a builder too. He, I took the uh, the uncle's truck to get like lottery tickets. Yeah. And the ice man was with me. I was like, Ice, I'm like, move. I'm in the fire lane. Move the fucking car if they come up. I was like, I have to get these tickets. And he was like, uh, I don't have my. Uh, he's like, I don't have my my card on my permit on me or whatever he had a license. Yeah. And I'm like, Ice, who gives a fuck? Just move it. Well, I'm not allowed. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like, <laughs> move the fucking car. I'll be back. He uh, he didn't, so they got a ticket, and then we took it back in. And then, like, so <laughs> it was like, oh, no, he got a ticket. for so He had a speeding ticket, and, my, and his uncle was going to get him out of it. It was basically like, give me the thing. He's like, all right, you're going to plead not guilty and, like, put not guilty on there. He's like, but I was speeding. He's like, trust me, I know the judge. Just plead not guilty. Yeah. Go into court and fucking just say. Iceman just couldn't lie, dude. Dude, so he fucking he went in there. <laughs> 
So first of all, he uh, the guy, the, the old guy, was just like, as soon as he signed his name, the old guy goes, "You just committed perjury." <laughs> He's oh. like, "What? Oh, no! <laughs> He's like, oh no! You're going to jail, dude!" You're so going to was, jail for lying. So dude. he was so spun out. So then, like the day of the court date, my my boss, his uncle, had to take off and go with him. And the judge was like, "So you pleaded not guilty?" And he just sat there in front of everyone. And was like. Uh, uh, Michael's like, yes, your honor, yes, your honor, please. Uh, he wouldn't do it, dude. He wouldn't he lie. Couldn't tell he couldn't purge. This dude could not lie. He wouldn't purge himself. So funny, dude. What a fucking great. F- He's a total gentleman. Wow. And now he slowly learned how to lie. What's Ajax up to? We haven't covered him in a while. He's Dude, he's a salesman. He's a beast. I catch him yeah, on dude. social media. He fucking He's a rips. salesman, dude. His guitar playing and singing. Unbelievable. He rips. He got real into like audiobooks and like, um, he's real into like, Personal, no, what it like motivational speaker type stuff. Do though. they face off Ajax and Ice? They've Man? met. Do they ever face off though? One meet, nah. They just met they one only time. Met once. Just, na- just nodded like two just cowboys t- at each other, and that was they went their separate ways. They are fucking cowboys, dude. dude. They're, they're wild west world. Yeah, dude. They're fu- they were fucking sick. <laughs> All right, sorry. But yeah, dude. The uh, what the fuck? Oh, we were talking about the internet. The have you ever fucked with? Uh, do you know what blockchain is? No. I heard about it a hundred times. I never really knew what it was, and I still don't know if I understand it. But I was, I'm still reading this one book about how the guy wants to take the internet and make it so that everyone who uses it gets paid for whatever they contribute to the internet, if that's used for something else that is then profitable. Okay. So like art, like artificial intelligence with like translation services or whatever, whatever kind of thing, that's based off of people who generate that data for those programs. They, they don't, like, just think of it. Like, artificial intelligence doesn't just be like, oh, I realized they just yeah. take huge amounts of data. So this guy's saying, like, basically how to do that. And I forget how he described it, but it's like HTML is, like, one way in the t- in the way it connects. And then Google, what Google did was make it two-way, where it, like, hyperlinked everything together. But this would be – so basically he was saying, like, stores are and the internet are like a tree model, where it's like like eBay. It's like, you know, it facilitates all these sales people do with each other, but eBay is the root of it. And the, I think it – Thick fucking root. It's a thick fucking root. So you can't do it. You can do anything you want on there, but every all roads lead here. Same with Amazon. All the roads lead here. This was more like – this would like completely eliminate that to where like there's no stores or anything. There's just the the web, all one big marketplace, and you just sell your wares, buy shit, and that's it. And then anything you're typing, any content that's getting used, you're getting paid for that all the time. All right. So like say like you do a in the article it's, or in the thing the book, he's talk, basically books too would become completely obsolete because the information would. Just, I mean, don't get me started on how papers a prison, dude. I mean, you you know, I'm an audiobook guy, but basically they're saying like paper everything is just completely obsolete all right you're just you're just flowing information in dude it's fucking sick but he was saying that it would be like if you're on the beach and you like figured out how to do some sort of long sandcastle thing like how to make like a sand bridge in a sandcastle and then like people see that information and then like some guy you know does something covers it and puts it on the news whatever then you're they're just like boom boom they send you a bunch of money one day and you're like oh fuck yeah sweet and that would be happening like constantly wow to where you're like if like when you go viral at all you would just get paid at once and it'd be happening to people so much that you know how much ha- fucking bread the Iceman would have right now he'd be fucking clocking so it'd be that and he's like that's the only way we'll be able to get through this otherwise it's just gonna be the the big servers just collect all the data and just don't give anyone money yeah. and he's like and we're, we're gonna be fucked with automation he's like we're like literally doomed that's such a sick idea dude it is I don't nice. know why they don't do it. Pay people for their ideas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's with the internet. You can log into the internet every day and just be like, boom, boom, start answering questions, fucking around. You could just clock in and get paid. And you then know who go, would be making a lot of money? Who? You. I. You're a shaman, pretty, dude. You doing dish pretty out well on the internet. You dude. dish out hot ideas. I take a lot though too. I did fucking. But just washing your ass in the bathtub. French bath, dude. That'd, that'd be fucking 50, poor man. That's a French bath. Yeah. That'd be fifty bucks. You probably made fifty bucks just <laughs> off. People listening to this and giving it a shot. <laughs> I, I bet at least three or four dudes went for it. Oh, definitely. Of the listeners? I'd be curious to see Maybe how Maybe a many. hot babe, dude. Oh. Whoa. I didn't even think about a babe listener going for it. Whoa, a French bath? A babe taking a French Oof. bath? Just taking it. You ever see Tub Girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen that. Tub Girl was like early. That was, that was like early internet. It was Lemon Party, Tub Girl. Lemon Party, yeah. yeah. Lemon Goatsy. Period. I remember Goatsy just stretching out your asshole. <laughs> yeah. yeah go- I saw Goatsy. I was kind of phased. Tub Girl fucked me up. I Tub saw Girl that. was, was like, crazy. Lemon Party was funny to send people. Lemon Party is Lemon funny. Lemon Party.com. There's dudes spinning their dicks around. No. 
Was that Lemon Party? Lemon Party. Was that meat, dot, spin? meat Spin. Meat Spin is guys, a gif of someone swinging their dick. <laughs> Lemonparty.org. Yeah. I think it's .org yeah. is three old dudes. In a bath of? No. One of them's making out with a guy who's getting his dick sucked by another old guy. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. That's what that was. That was and so... people still fall for it. Dude. People are, <laughs> and I think one's Blue Waffle. What's Blue Waffle? I forget. Did you Google it? Blue Waffle is a rough one. That's funny. You know uh, Amazon sending a... Uh, Lemon Party. Amazon sending... Lemon Party holds up, dude. That you know, is still Lemon fucking Party's hilarious. Lemon a fucking classic. I, actually, Party. I can picture those three old geezers, dude. Very <laughs> frail. <laughs> it's fucking great. Sucking dick when you're that old. Getting filmed, too. It's awesome that that was a website. Just a picture... Just one picture. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's got to be... That might not be photo. That might be photo. <laughs> it looks like three of the same guys. <laughs> that might be Photoshop, it's dude. way before Photoshop. That's sure. a real fucking picture. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. That's fucking rough, dude. I don't... Oh, look at the guy's dick laying on I know. The other guy's dick's oh, dude. laying on the geezer's pubes. Please. That guy has a decent root, though. Please, I just had my smoothie, dude. All these geezers have decent roots. Let me see that root again. But decent, decent root. It's, it's pretty fat. It's a nice little it's fat good, boy. thick root, dude. And I mean, you can't tell how long bushel it is. Bushel of pubes. That's a yeah, coming through the bushel. True, that thing could be in the back of that other geezer's throat. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Although you can tell it's starting to narrow in towards the it top. It is. It seems like that guy's got the tip. He's got a he's got a bit of a he's got a hold of the tip. Dude. Plus, if someone's photographing me, I'd be like, eh, put your mouth just just eliminate that tip and don't be going down too low. It's awesome that that guy's just laying there taking it though. The guy that's getting his dude, dick that's sucked. Three of the same. He's guy. not that's the moving. Same guy. It's not the same guy. It can't Fuck, be the same man. guy. Look at that feminine dude on top with the hips. Very He's Greek, dude. Very Greek. You see, you see his fucking, just his wiener just looking out of the camera. <laughs> just laying on that other guy. Man, it's it's great that that still makes me happy. See, <laughs> sending that to people was like a definite rare delight. Although I think that's a, um, I wonder if, because I know it's like a misdemeanor to send people pornography against their will. So really? You could have pressed charges against someone who directed you to lemonparty.org. Although it's a hyperlink. I don't know if it, technically it's like you clicked on it. That was like whitehouse.com as well, far as. What is that? Uh Oh, my God. What? Is that blue waffle? Yeah. This is all is really it? horrific shit. What is it? I don't know. Oh, there it is. That's what it is. What is it, bro? <laughs> what is it? Dude? Oh, my let God. Me see, let me see. Oh, my God. Let me see. Ah, dude. What the? F oh, it's like. Oh, dude. Enough. That's the. <laughs> What is that from? Why is it all like it's a that? Blue sniz, dude. Oh Jesus, man. That's tough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wish I hadn't. Wish I hadn't done Seen that. The one. Blue waffle. I never saw the blue waffle. <laughs> blue waffle's tough. One. That's the name of Bezos' uh, moon ships called Blue Moon. He should switch it to Blue Waffle. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's Bezos' problem, dude? Dude, he's trying to compete with Musk. He's being a bitch. He about is it. being a fucking. He's a bitch version of Musk. Yeah, dude. Musk is like basically like, no, we're going to Mars. Musk eliminated. We talked about it on Patreon. Yeah. Sorry you didn't hear, but he basically eliminated. Uh, Uber. He's gonna, Uber and Lyft are like toast in about a year. Yeah, and he's going to Mars. So Bezos was like, basically recreated the fucking moon mission. It's like nice, dude. They did that in the seventies. So he's gonna yeah. like drop stuff on the moon. It's like, okay, Musk is in fucking Mars. Yeah, it's just yeah, shut the fuck up, just Bezos. Weak. He's just, yeah, it's just, he's just like I do cool space stuff too. I think both of them are fucking gay. Musk is the man. Musk dude. is take it back. Uh, yeah, he was he was pretty man. chill on Rogies. He's the fucking man. He might be retarded. I think he might be tricking everybody and you pretending to be an evil genius. He is, a, dude. He's a fucking just his his new idea for. I mean, it's if he cool to come up with these ideas. Anybody can say this. Be like, I have a battery that's worth a million miles. It, dude, it must. Like, let's see. Let's Musk see, play, dude. dude. The Tesla is the best. I'm from Missouri, dude. You got to show me first. You show me. I'm the fucking show me see, state. Musk. The Tesla was the M -I best electric letter, car. Crooked letter. Best in my cooker letter. <laughs> the best electric car was a Tesla, easily. And dude, he's going to continue to dominate. You don't just go out there and say like one one year. Teslas are for douches right now. It's about to be. This is all to... the the beta for the Tesla. If you drive a Tesla, you're pretty much corny. You're paid, dude. There's a few dogs I know that have Teslas, Teslas that are, are fucking pretty sick, chill, dude. If you drive a Tesla, you're definitely wearing sunglasses. Yeah. At all times. For sure. Sick sunglasses. Too. Exactly. Yes. That's the best. Yeah. You dude, like those? I love sunglasses. You got, are you going to get a Tesla? Yeah, dude. 
I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna get a Tesla and get fucking paid. With the page? With the Patreon? <laughs> no, you know what? No, you can get the. I told you about this. A new oh, Tesla. Yeah, yeah, a new yeah. Tesla is only gonna be like 35 grand. Which again, it's like a middle middle sized car, but they're saying it's or a middle median price car. A million miles battery, Musk is projecting. And you can just link it into the fucking net self driving yeah. network and have it make it be a robotic lift driver. And then for are you, you for are you. you accountable when that thing drives someone straight off a cliff? No, it's You're fucking not. that would be Tesla. You didn't program the algorithm. You, it's dude, it's the fucking sweetest of deals. And he could he's he could have just had this fleet by himself and been like, fuck it, and then been like, I own all these and put them out and put them out. But he's like, no, nah, let people buy into this. Hmm. Dude, Musk is the fucking man. Hmm. Musk is. I'm we'll see. You, Musk is on my level for we'll sure. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens with Musk. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do? I don't know. And the fact that he's Something been getting a lot of negative guy. press. Something about he's that guy. He's a fucking guy. freakish genius, dude. He's been getting a lot of negative press. Yeah, I think press. he might head to the Willow world, dude. So what? Oh, you think he's a fucking pedo? We'll see, dude. Musk I might roll him up. You call him Musk a pedo? I might roll him up. Dude. I'm rolling up the you're pedophiles. You're trying to drain him? I'm rolling up the pedophiles. Nah, dude. You, you're, uh, you're hating on Musk. Dude. I don't, you know, I don't have any evidence. But, you're just but I can look, at, look one and see one. I think you're part of Big Oil. Big Oil's been trying to pin shit on you him You think forever. I'm part of Big Oil? <laughs> I love Big Oil, dude. Are you threatened against him taking out our petroleum supplies? I'm not threatened. I you just know mean, what happens when you go up against big oil. Sure, you want to keep the money intact. You don't fuck with us, dude. That's sick. That that is that should be a tight. Um, we should change our mission statement to like utterly preserving the status quo <laughs> yeah. at all all Definitely. expenses. Did dude. you watch that AOC documentary? No. AOC's got a tight documentary on Netflix. What's it about? It's about. It's called tearing down the house. It's just about AOC just tearing down the house and other Dems like her just rising up, rising it's up against sick. the Democratic cool that, machine. It's cool that Netflix just puts out clear political propaganda for sure it's pretty sick yeah i mean, I mean they're definitely going to rise up in the uh the democratic party and dismantle that they're going to really fuck it dude, up that's like one of the most corrupt political machines i mean yeah. it's it's like the inverse of the, the gop to be like i'm going to rise up they're going to like they're going to rip apart the democratic party and then we're going to get like five more trumps yeah <laughs> yeah, like they're really fucking retarded. Fuck, who is that guy who put out the? It was like the most Republican ad or something. Someone was showing me this. Some dude put out an ad that was apparently like he he did the uh, he did like, he bought a bus and it's called like the illegal bus. And it's just this guy driving around picking up illegals. He's like, hell no, I ain't PC. Yeah, I got guns. I'm about to pick up illegals. I think that's drop. Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> <laughs> that's DiPaolo's new special. Let me do this. I forget what it was like. The most PC, huh, not me, baby. Republican GOP ad. It's this guy, and he. It's funny when people confuse not being PC for not being like. Uh, hell no, I'm not tolerant. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, it's fucking sick. But no, I, I can't. I'll have to find it and put it on the thing. This guy is just driving around a bus, and he's just like, the bus says like, if you're illegal, get out, and he's just driving around them. It's a. I think Ari Shafir did that. This a dude, long time ago, Ari Shafir, do you remember the no. Amazing Racist? No. Ari Shafir had some YouTube videos back in like 06 that were fucking wild. Really? He dressed as a Klansman and went to like Compton. He fucking, he drove, he picked up, fuck, was it him? Picked up illegals in a truck and just took them straight to. Did he really? Like a fucking ice. Yeah. What? Yeah, really funny. Oh, and he was that the guy who was like, all right, and they got and they all like, they oh, all fuck. scattered. That was him. I think it was Ari. Shit. Ari did. I think that was one of the amazing races. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's a wild bull. Shafir is wild. Damn. <laughs> the, the fucking he's he wears a clan outfit and is like buying gasoline, and he like goes into the shop and he's like, "Whew, it's hotter than Africa out there." This like black dude. What happens? It's wild, man. I forget. I forget. I mean, I just remember that line and. Being like, damn, this guy. It's gonna be wild when you're black and see the clan. You're like, you might, you have to, must be like, no fucking way, yeah. no fucking. You have to way. Be like, this guy's joking. That's wild, dude. That's Shafir. She, she, dude, dude. he's a new fool. I love how you hate Musk and hate blockchain technology. I blockchain technology is gay. Musk dude. is gay. No. Uh, you're yeah, gonna I'm get left. You're gonna get left in the dust, I'm just dude. Pro Cheney. You're gonna get left in the love dust. Love Dick Cheney. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll send. I'm gonna send one of my Teslas. To I come love Halberton, Free Enron. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one of my Teslas. I'm like, go get Shane, dude. I'm gonna have two Teslas. Me making like 17 bucks an hour, dude. You're gonna be like, Matt, help. 
Like, hold on, my robot army dude is amassing me a small, very modest fortune. Your robot <laughs> army of Accords, <laughs> of Honda Accords. I'm, I'm going to buy two Teslas when they come it's out. It's awesome they're putting immigrants out of work. For sure. Dudes that drive Uber. Yeah, well, they have like to. Like, poor Dominicans. You got to nut up and buy a Tess. But then you can buy a Tesla, and then you could go get a job and make double money. Wow. You could get two, dude. What if you just like driving? You could drive. My Tesla's going to be spinning. Dude, it, it, the, the money of it will be like. It'll be like uh, driving oils and be like smoking cigarettes. People are like, all right, I mean, if you want to spend twenty bucks or ten bucks a pack, go ahead. The electric Tesla is going to be like wow, twelve cents. I think they're going to tax it through the roof to try to get people to not buy it. What are you going to tax? Are you going to tax electricity? No, I meant oil, like they do with cigarettes. No, they'll they're going to just. I it's just going to be too expensive because they're not going to have. No, the road tax will drop. They're going to start. Try, I guess they'll tax electricity. I don't know. But that'll be kind of disastrous because that will like. It's kind of a regressive tax. I, I'm not going to get into it, but don't, we, we not, shouldn't even be on the gonna, air right now. It. That, that's sort of regressive, but yeah, your policies are regressive. It's my Bernie Sanders. That was Bernie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the one. It's just like the one percent of the one percent. <laughs> that's the only thing you can say. The one percent, dude. I uh, fuck man. I have actually I actually scanned the web today for topics. Really? Yeah, I, I was actually. stuck on TikTok, dude. I just keep that's watching some, these that's videos. That's some bucked up shit. They dude. are so fucking crazy, dude. That is some bucked up ass shit. That's that's shit is fucking creepy, man. I'm fucked up on this hiker right now. There's a dude in Massachusetts who was walking in Appalachia, and he was just carrying a machete, and he apparently like people were giving him complaints. People were he was this guy with long hair and everyone. Just, he would, apparently he would just walk around with a machete and be like fuck you pussy and like talk shit to every other hiker and be like get the fuck off the trail <laughs> all right yeah, dude. all right sick so then he finally lost it and uh hacked somebody up murdered somebody and then like stabbed his girlfriend and then he got busted they caught him really yeah so now he's in jail but it's that like, wasn't the hitchhiker no this dude's a this is a long-haired dude he's a, he was he was a he was a hiker not a hitchhiker yeah but there was a famous hitchhiker who was hacking people Hacked a dude was going wild, and then this guy hopped out and fucking attacked him. Like Kai, what? Never and I heard think of that he bullshit. just got in trouble. Really? Hold on, hit pause for a second. Go ahead, go ahead. Hit pause while we research. We back. Yeah, that Kai the hitchhiker was. There was a viral video of him. There was some dude was going nuts. Yeah, and Kai. Kai the Hitchhiker grabbed his hatchet. Oh, I remember him, that. I and they remember like, that. did a local news interview, and he's like, I saw him while, and I was like, smash, smash. <laughs> I know you're talking smash. about Smash. <laughs> uh, later, though, he got Kai was arrested on murder charges in 2013 for the slaying of New Jersey attorney Joseph Galfie. Kai maintains he fought against Galfie in self defense. According to Kai, Galfie attempted to rape him after offering Kai a place to stay for the night. Kai stated that the police claimed the sexual encounter was consensual and the murder premeditated. However, Kai said that after the viral video in California, he had no need to have sex with men like Galfie, who Kai described as unattractive, stating, Do you know how many hot chicks? Never mind. Even if I was gay, do you know how many hot guys want to fuck me after that shit in California? I'm not even being vain. It's just like a fact. Like, no offense, but Galfie was not a looker. <laughs> guy, that was his defense? That was his defense. He was not hot? Yeah. Damn, The dude. guy you murdered was not hot. He, did Case he get, closed. Did he get prosecuted? Uh, I can just closed it. I don't know. Dude, that guy's like fucking modern day golden axe. That's awesome that he, he really is. <laughs> he's walking around hacking people. Uh, Jerry found him guilty of first degree murder. What? <laughs> what's what's the fucking uh? What he he what was the guy a prosecutor? He chopped up. Uh yeah. So what's the prosecutor doing? Fucking around with that dude. He was gonna have consensual sex with a young boy, with a boy, dude, the hot viral boy. So why didn't anyone buy his story? That he was getting their guy was uh, trying to rape him. Kai took the stand in his own defense and was combative during cross examination. He made he, an outburst during his defense lawyer's closing arguments, nearly leading to his expulsion from the courtroom. Yeah, dude, because they're trying to. He's going wild. They're trying to subject you to murder, dude. My thing is like, I, why would a pro, why would this prosecutor be trying to fuck this guy, the axe wielding hitchhiker? Why would he be trying to fuck him? Yeah. I mean, was he hot? Kai was, was, was saying he was trying to rape him. The hitchhiker was a bit of a looker. Bit of a looker. I mean, plus he saved a lady and killed, a, killed a guy with an axe. <laughs> I think I, th I might I might uh, go serial on him, dude, and try to free him. You might free Kai. I think that's I think there's more to the story, dude. You think he self-defense murdered after an attempted rape? Yeah. Well, what was his weapon of choice? What do you have? Axe or machete? He used to be a hitchhiker. Or, I mean, a, a hatchet. So what do you think he murdered him with? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. So you think he fucked this guy and then Andrew Cunanan him? I think. 
Did you watch that? The no, Dude, no, I didn't. That's fucking. That's the shit. What's that? That was the. Uh, it was on a while ago. The assassination of Gianni Versace. Oh, you love that it's shit. About this gay guy, Every time, dude. And you're always like, you should watch it. I'm like, oh just... my dude, Shannon was so fucking good. It was so good, and it was like, I think it was on FX, but it was still. To, it, I was surprised that a show on FX had me like aghast. I was just like, what the? Yeah, fuck? there's gay dudes kissing. Like, he and would stuff. like seduce old men and murder them in their garage, and then tell their wives like he was gay. Dude, he would like. He would murder dudes who were like closeted old powerful men, and then leave like get gay a lemon porn party. Or basically get a he lemon, would lemon party, party going. And kill him. He would get a lemon party going, and then after he'd kill him, he'd have basically have them coming out of the closet as they were murdered. This guy was a fucking psycho, dude. And he he went and killed Gianni Versace. That was his final fucking. That was quest. his final. Gianni wouldn't give him da da. He wouldn't give him a da da. Well, I think he just didn't. Give him, I didn't think he just didn't give him a phone call afterwards, or something happened where he was like, oh. "I'm gonna go kill this motherfucker." Yeah, so he, but he had like a trail of gay destruction on the way, dude. It was so, fu- it was so funny. But yeah, there's another. Uh, That's a way to go out on top, though. If your like goal is to kill old gay dudes, he was just to be famous. He's and like, powerful. you know what? I'll get Versace. That was a solid fucking snag. But he was, uh, yeah, he was like in the, in the show. He's like a big liar. Like he just like lies. Like so, yeah. his dad was like a Filipino dude who was like a pyramid schemer. And uh, he like got like kicked out. He had to like flee the United States because he was scamming old people out of money. So the dad left and went to the Philippines and was just like, "I'm a very powerful business." I think he was molested. Went to the Philippines. He was, he was the dad's from Philippines or the dad's oh, from the, the dad's dad Filipino. is Filipino. That was a Filipino dude who came here and was trying to get his like Nigerian prince on, and he got busted. Okay. So he was trying to do something. Like, he went back to the Willow World. So they sent him back to the. He escaped back to the Willow World and told his boy, and he had like been molesting this boy the whole time. So he was molesting his son Andrew Cunanan. He was arrested. He was molesting his own son. He was molesting him. Yeah. He molested. He molested him. Damn. So he was molesting Cunanan, and then Cunanan was gay, and the rest of his family was just and like he would give his son like all like he like favored him in every single way. They, they, all the rest of his of course he favored him. Call he had him the, fucking the tightest puss. Dude. Yeah, dude. He had the tightest him, boy puss. They called him the like the like the prince. They'd be like, oh, it's the prince. Blah blah. blah. And then. uh it's he awesome just, to have a sibling rivalry like that. Oh, like, dude, you are the prince. Yeah, dude. Father loves you the most. <laughs> well, they it would do shit where like he would like take him to an amusement park and like ignore the rest of his family, and then he was like, "You were going to be great," and then uh, yeah, he got kicked out. So then this guy was like convinced the kid who'd been like molested, Kunan, was convinced he was like this like upper crust elite person, but he's really lives in like a poor, like shitty apartment. I understand that. (laughs) (laughs) I live that lifestyle. So he just made up these lies. How his father was like a super important person. All the money he had was just from like sucking and fucking old dudes. And he was just like coming up big time. And then he started just murdering them all. (laughs) And he got excited. They got too excited, dude. But yeah, it was pretty wild. That's the come up though. Yeah, dude, that's how you get paid. Start sucking and fucking old dudes. Dude, he would do this thing where he would duct tape their faces and then he would like, like the whole entire face, he would duct tape it. <laughs> and then he would put a thing over the mouth, and like like get them on the edge of death and pull it off. And he would like fuck with these guys the whole time. And they liked it. it. They would just be like, dude, you're a wild fucking young bull. And then someone got him on a meth and dude, he just like, he went. He got into meth. <laughs> yeah, dude, he went wild. He That's went, where you go wild. I think you go wild. <laughs> he you was, start popping meth. He was on his way and then someone hooked him up. So he started hitting the gay bars and someone hooked him with some meth, dude. It was like, it was on and popping, dude. Cause if you're if you're like a, a little like a gay boy prostitute, you, you get that meth rolling, dude. You can buy fucking trucker drugs with fucking gay boy prostitutes. That's that Sonic the Hedgehog, dude. <laughs> it's that you start spinning, you're charged, ready to take off. That's exactly what happened to him, dude. Did you wild. see? Do you see the preview for that? The Sonic the Hedgehog movie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that came under fire. It looks crazy. Yeah, dude. It looked uh well, it looked really bad. It they, looks so bad. They redid the Sonic. Oh, really? Yeah, and people are saying now they're like, oh, that was like a purpose. That was like on purpose because like now the Sonic now like it got viral or something. Yeah, it went viral because they're they're now competing with Detective Pikachu. First of all, these movies are all for like thirty year olds, which is weird. Which is real weird. Yeah, it's like I don't know. There's some live weird... action Aladdin. Was that they're making an Aladdin movie? You didn't see that? No. Will Smith is the genie. Huh? Yeah, dude. I saw another movie with Will Smith that's coming He's out. Getting genie with it. Will Smith just gets paid like fifteen million to like do that eye bulge cry where he just goes and then just like cries. You ever see him in the Pursuit of Happiness? He did it. And now he's getting paid now just to like yeah. stare at someone and be like, I can't. And he's fucking cries. They're like beautiful. Really? Yeah, that just seems to be his new. I like, didn't niche. even notice that. He's in another movie now where he just like the preview is just him like. I think that's Aladdin. Where he's the genie? <laughs> no, it's definitely not. Dude. Yeah, he's the genie. He's a blue genie, dude. He's going. He went blue face. What? Yeah. 
full blue face. That's gonna be hard to fill fucking Rob Williams' shoes, dude. He was a true, killer fucking true. Genie. I wish they kept the genie. They should have kept the genie that's white. That's like the Joker, dude. You think true. that's a dark role? The to genie play. was white. You think so? Yeah, but that's fucking PC culture, dude. Well, you know where the genie Can't even have you white know where the genies. genie legend comes from. Where fucking masturbation, dude. You rub the lamp. Yeah, you rub the lamp and you Three have your, times, your little alternate reality, dude. It's basically they've been talking about how you shouldn't masturbate for a long time, being like you're just completely checking out of reality. You got to earn the fuck. You have to. You have to earn your cum, dude. The genie, the, <sighs> Who the, the genie fuck stories. Saying that the genie stories were just basically it was like a phallic imagery where it's like there's just guys like rubbing their things like oh I'm gonna get whatever I want. Uh. It's a warning, dude. Wow. They always, it's always disastrous and it always ends up horrible. Really? Yeah, dude. It sounds dude. like some JP shit. It's youngin. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's youngin. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is so the genie. The genie has come. Sort of. Yeah. The genie has come. The genie is all out. your misplaced fantasies. That's why he should be white. Do you think so? Yeah. If he's come. Well, they made him blue. I don't like it. If you want Rob, you want. Pissed, well, no, dude. they made they made the genie in Aladdin look like Sinbad. True. So you're in a fucking. This is a tough spot. This is a in. pickle. <laughs> the parrot. The parrot better be white. Oh, it better be fucking Gilbert, dude. Gilbert Godfrey, dude. Yeah, the parrot was white. Well, did you you knew about the? I'm sure the whole cast was white. Without you, you knew a doubt. the Disney thing with uh, when with Dom's? Aladdin goes, good teenagers take off their clothes. Yeah, I, I that was re- the first one I saw. I replayed that the other day. Me, oh, you did? Yeah, and I was like, that's some creepy shit. Yeah, dude, Are you are gonna tell me there's not a lot of pedos kicking around? I mean, they said teenagers. Yeah, and it got through a production team. Good teenagers take off your clothes. Yes, good tiger. He's like, whoa, Roger, Roger. Yeah. Yep. Then he goes off camera. Goes, good teenager. It's pretty fucking clear. Yeah, it's very. I mean, I caught it when I was like ten. Dude, I took my clothes off. Did you really? You got naked. I listened to him. I did too. I I always listen to Aladdin. I put. I definitely pulled out Tinas, and I was like, what am I doing? (laughs) (laughs) Tinas is. I'm telling you, bro. The, if you could have seen the wild tennis I was dealing with in this fucking car, I'm sure I, I'm sure I can imagine it was a your wild, wild teen, dude. Teen, dude. I'm talking. You had a fucking teeny teen, teenus. dude. Oh, I, dude, my tennis goes fucking wild, dude. Uh, teen right now, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> right. I teen out when we're in here. This is teen. This when is you're fucking... casting, all the blood is to your brain for sure. The tennis is you get second nature. brain, dude. When you're casting, every once in a while you'll say something that gets me thick. Really? Yeah. yeah. When you're talking about a girl French bath, and I think I got, I think I girl French bath. Please, girl listener, if you're a French bather, don't be afraid. Slide in, slide in the DMs with a sick, solid fucking French bath. French bath vid. Wow. For me and the dog to fucking we'll 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 tag team a cell phone vid for sure. We'll give you won't a, even we'll, send it to him. One French bath for a double tennis video, dude. We'll definitely show you our tennises, dude. Look at the tennises dancing dude, on TikTok. Let that become a female fetish of just checking out flaccid tennises, dude. I would definitely be the Ron Jeremy of flaccid tennises. Yeah, like, oh my yeah. god, look how fucking small that is. <laughs> how? Yeah, I'll, I'm not. I'll, I'll drop teen. Although I will say, if you're ever feeling bad about your bird, Google like legitimate uh, micro penis. Yeah, like, yeah, Google that for real, and you're just like. You yeah, go, I got, you a, go I got a regular steel real quick. Yeah, you, you feel like, like oh, it's like nice. I got a regular dong, but I will say, if I see somebody with my size dong in a porn, I'm like, next. Yeah, oh for get sure. Get out of here with that. That's I can't even see it. Yeah, I get so upset if I see a dong around my size in a porn. I'm like, this is weird. This is so this is lame. gross looking. Yeah, dude, I, I can't fuck with that. <laughs> Hell no, dude. It's a sick fetish though. What? Tennis? Tennis fed? Tennis fetish? Got to exist. Definitely. They, I, dude, honestly. There's, I mean, that probably remember when, the, remember when the Democrats and remember when everybody was trying to fucking put a force a tennis onto Trump and be like, he's got a tennis. Yeah. And it's like, come on, man. Weird move. Why are we, why are we tennis shaming? Yeah. Why are we attacking <laughs> tennises, dude? Why are we attacking teni? That's, you know who led the attack on that? Dudes with tennis. You think so? Yeah. That was definitely a projection. That's a, they know that that's a shameful cross to bear. Yeah. Dude. They wouldn't put that on their enemies. Yeah. That's tough, man. Especially micro birds, like real tough. Like when you're talking, like maybe you're talking about a functional bird, it might not be like the best. But you're talking about like unfunctional micro bird, dude. That's like it's a curse. It's a tough curse. It's a curse. They got to be able to do something for that. They got to be able to thicken your teen. Something, dude. I mean, you, I don't know how you'd even jelk a micro bird. That'd you be ever tough. Google to... like a pure micro bird. Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, they're fucking. They're they're tough to I'm watch. I'm jealous. They're tough. They're tight, dude. You want one? Yeah, dude. Just a thick clip. Yeah, tiny nut sack. I want to shrink up, dude. I well, want to go from small to smaller, dude. Really? <laughs> I want to go fucking tiny. I'm trying to hide my bird. No, I want to. I, I got. That's get a it. bird of the future. Tennis? Yeah, dude. We've talked about that too. What? 
dudes with penises run the world. Oh, for sure. If you got a thick hog, you're chilling. Although I wonder about that sometimes. I think there's a whole like elite underground society of just hogs, dude. Really? Yeah. Dudes with thick birds. So it's got to power you at some point. When you're like, if you're if you have the ultimate hog, you'd think you'd be like, I'm destined for great things. But I think sometimes it has the opposite effect. Where you're like, I've got you all just that chill. I need. I've you're got like, all that. Everything I need. I need is right here. True. I think if you have a penis, you're ready to fucking rage. Yeah, but I feel like if you had a hog and you saw like a lot of people with penises bossing you around, you'd have to be like, I gotta fucking get. Yeah, this. they buck the system and they get fired. Unless you're Trump dog. True. Trump dog has a hog and. Because you, if if you're playing by the rules, <laughs> Wait, he you're a penis. He's a hog tip. There's no one's really got in on his fucking full his root. shaft. The shaft is to be determined. His he's a fat head. I mean, if you have a fat head, you have a decent dong. True. If you have a thick head, that's a good donger. True. It counts. You can't good. have a penis and a yeah, thick head. If you're head. measuring for a manhood, you had, that's that was what happened to me with a manhood. I was like. It's got to be a small one. I forgot how I have a fucking mushroom tip. You got a fat head. I got a mushroom tip, so I didn't. I failed to m- I measure the mushroom tip, and I was like, I got. I gladly sent it back and was like, Yo, Randy, notch it up a little bit, bro. From smallest to second to smallest. <laughs> <laughs> you ordered the smallest first. I thought I did. I thought I needed the smallest. That's because you're a humble man. I'm humble, dude. You're I'm not hum- gonna. I'm hum. And then I, I, I was like, Yo, Randy. I remember I sent him the email. I'm like, Yo, I'm not bragging, bro, but uh, send me a next size up. And he was just like, Oh, dude, totally, no problem. It happens. He's like, time. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Randy. Randy probably has a hog, dude. If you get the, if you get a size too big, you gotta, you gotta keep it and just not take it back. Yeah, you just gotta. You can't, you can't gotta, email the guy and be like, My dick's smaller than I fucking. Set imagine. up an alternate account, dude. Yeah, something's happening. I don't know. It's shrunk. I told you the first time I slept with that on, dude. I got chubby in the middle of the night and woke up. I was like, "Oh, it was the weirdest feeling." Dude. Really? My bird was trying to bust out. I had I was in a tennis cage, dude, and my that fucking heart was trying to bust out. That it was definitely a, resulted in a jo. It was a weird. It did it? <laughs> no. What? I was sleeping next to my babe, so I just woke up and like wrapped it off. I was like, "Oh, Jesus." But yeah, that could. That you woke could. up to a thick. You you woke up to a throbbing teen. I mean, I was just a little brat, dude. <laughs> you needed to be submitted, dude. <laughs> it's just gibberish. <laughs> you were a little brat, dude. Yeah, you needed a, to be. You wanted. You got the spanking you deserved. Yeah, that was just, that was the absolute spanking I deserved, dude. It was. Literally, you woke up and it was like I would. My body was trying to have a boner, and it was just like Canada was just utterly oppressing. Canada is oppressive. The Northern Front was just constricting my boner. It was a weird. It was a weird thing to wait. It was like. Waking up having to pee, waking up having a panic. I've done all of that stuff. Yeah. Wake it, wake up panic attacks over a fucking ticket, dude. And you wake up and you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's weed. That's a weed edible. That happens, yeah, right. That's an edible. Is that just? I thought that that's was just an me. Edible. That's not life. Did you ever wake? Did you ever eat? Yes. For some reason, when I like the time I ate that whole bag of gummies, you left. So you wake up and well, my thing is, I I woke up in the one of the darkest fucking pits of despair I've ever been in. <laughs> I woke up in that. Oh, I've talked about this. It was yeah. a fucking soul Joel gig. Yep. I woke up in a basement a of a windowless casino. Windowless hotel room. Windowless hotel room in a casino. And you had a, you had a, I had the Mexican dude. African sweet boy. I had a fucking sweet boy, but I forgot the sweet boy was there. <laughs> so I woke up in this pitch black room. Dude, I was hammered and you left a bag of gummies. Yeah. Normally I would eat like one and what be the, high. What were they? I they ate were... all of them. I made like granola bars or something. I made something fucking weird. And I was like, don't eat all of these. Ate the whole thing. No. They were fucking, uh, they were like these cinnamon bun things that I made. That was the reason I missed Christmas two years ago. <laughs> I fucking ate these cinnamon buns with my babe, dude. That's our, me and my babe got forged in the fire. I was. Our third date, we ate those things. I remember I was, I was, they, were, they were so evil and wicked. I was like, I have to get rid of these things. Dude, we ate you them. dropped them off, dude. We ate them and I was like, fucking, I literally had to call my mom. I missed Christmas and I had to nurse this basically stranger babe who's now my yeah. babe since we were forged in the flames. We had just like a we our relationship was started in like mutual psychosis where we both were just like that was what I was talking about when I kept envisioning Pangea like I like couldn't stop seeing Pangea and I was like <laughs> there and I was like she's like what's the matter I was like oh, nothing <laughs> all the continents were together once yeah, I was like <laughs> nothing I was thinking about tectonic plate shifting and I was like so geeked on it dude and I was like oh my god the shit going on under us and then she literally was like. I'm not here. And I was like, oh, God, dude, <laughs> six hours of it. Just uh, nonsense. Of just like just a double hallucination, dude. It was insane. I, But I, that's what I gave you. They yeah. were like supercharged. There were cinnamon buns where I made icing out of weed coconut oil and spread. Well, it, it, you guys must have eaten like 300 milligrams. Dude, dude it, was insa- it, it was started insane. at the end of the night was me chasing the sweet boy around the hotel. 
Yes. Pretending I was going to murder him. Yeah, you're a drug. You're going to fucking. I was pretending the to follow him. That's around. what happened to the hitchhiker. He was pretending for sure. I was definitely like, if I would have caught him, I would have <laughs> squeezed him hard. Now he was like, okay, okay dude, stop, stop, would stop. Would you have mounted his head, <laughs> chasing him around the hotel? <laughs> He's like, all right, dude, stop. stop. You guys were like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> it really was, dude. He kept slipping through my legs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then I woke up the next morning, pitch black. Wait, but you went home. You got. We went home drunk. I gave Mackie. I was drunk. We ate, and I ate a little edible, and I gave one to Mecky, I believe. Then you guys stayed there. Or maybe it was another I stayed, night. I forget. I stayed in the hotel and ate the rest of all did the week. Did you guys eat Skizzlers, or did you guys eat? I think they were Skizzlers. I don't think they were the cinnamon buns. Okay. It might have been Skizzlers. These might have been some Skizzlers. It was a whole bag of gums. Yeah, that was like genera- a Ziploc you, bag of gums. That might have been Generation 1 when I did alcohol tincture of Skizzlers and fucking blew up the kitchen. It was, again, though, that's the psychosis. Like, I woke up because I went in blacked out. So I was okay, I was okay going. I mean, yeah. I was obviously I was retarded, but like mm-hmm. my brain wasn't working. But then when I woke up, yep, it was just the skiz. It was me and the skizzlers yep. in the dark. I was like, "This room's haunted." <laughs> I was like, "This is." <laughs> I didn't know where I was, and I forgot. Mackey was he was like asleep on the chair. Yeah, and I was like, Ugh. and he was like, "Are you all right, man?" I was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> Who's there?" <laughs> You're just like, oh god! Yeah, I seriously woke up like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, Shane. And I was like, who is that? <laughs> yeah, man, that's waking up high. Is <laughs> waking up worse, high dude. fucking blows. It's fucking tough, dude. Yeah, that's it you, happened to me. Dude, waking up having weekend. panic attacks is not oh. normal. Waking up having a weed panic attack is. See, that's what's happening. To me, to you. It happens to me if, like, if I eat edibles or smoke weed, I have to like wait a couple hours before I go to bed. Otherwise, I go to I there's a feel, like the feeling that I'm high. I'm laying there and I feel it, and I'm just like, I can't go to sleep now. I will wake up and be like, oh, yeah. Oh. It's like this weird way. To, it sucks. You no, know also has happens to apparently Joey Diaz. Oh, really? Might be a sleep apnea thing. I could have sleep ap because I have a deviated septum because I played sports. Yeah. <laughs> I have a deviated septum. <laughs> you played sports, obviously, and I played sports. Exactly. That's why you get. That's them. why you. If get you don't them. play sports, you don't get a deviated septum. Really? Yeah, basically. that makes sense. That's what happens. Us athletes get that all the time. Yeah, us warriors, dude. Modern day warriors is what is Bro, what I is. talked about it a little on stage. I don't know if you remember it. There's a video McKeever sent me. What? Uh this lady approaching a cop and she gets fucking leveled. It's so fucking funny. Why do they level her? She walks up to a, the cops walking towards her and she comes like at him. Yeah. Like kinda like walking, like, yeah, what the f-? she's literally like, oh, What the okay. fuck are you gonna do? And he he just Goldberg spear, like his heart like lifts her off the ground. Yeah, cops her. are allowed to beat up ladies. But when he hits her, you, she's like, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. oh my God, I remember <laughs> you, that. You hear her get hit with the fucking, oh, oh that's so that's fucking so funny. good. That Dude. reminds me, there's like sports, like growing up, like I've been hit yeah, enough exactly. times that you I know. know I've experienced that. Oh, you would brace your core if you saw the cop Goldberg in you. Yeah, but you wouldn't have that attitude. Sure. You you've been hit yeah. hard enough for sure throughout your life to know, like, don't talk yeah. shit. It's like being never punched in the face. You'll talk to guys and you're like, you've never got punched in the face, have you? Yeah. There's people who are so fucking annoying that you just meet them and you're like, no one's ever fucking flattened your nose, dude. Dude, there was a, uh, the Norristown police are under fire. They broke up. They called it a, a fight on the news. But like local cops, they like choke. They put a girl, one girl in the triangle choke. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't say, this is the thing. And I'm, I'm usually, I see that shit. I'm like, these fucking cops are out of control. Dude, there was a fight, and they call it a fight, between 50 to 100 teenagers. That's a fucking battle, dude. The it's teens. not a fight. That's a battle. The teenagers. There was No, it's not teenagers. Teen, they might have been some teenagers, but it was teenagers. 50 to 100 dude, teenagers. Dude, if you're in a fight, there's or, a bunch of teenagers flopping. That's true. That, true that. Fight mode, your teenagers true, dude, locked that's, in. That might be absolute peak teenagers. That was all teenagers. That's peak teenagers. The adrenaline going, dude, you have no teenagers. 50 you to 100. Teenagers. So they're like calling in a fight. I'm like, that's a fucking, that's a, that's a little, ba- that's a battle. That is a battle. That was a military coup going on. Yeah. And these, these dude, there was like six cops. No, I think it was three cops go there and they're like, fuck. So they're trying to break up like a 50 person fight. And again, usually my, when you see in that, like, I doubt all 50 people were fighting because there was a fight of 50 people just statistically like 70% of them are not, they're not going to really fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, still, dude, even if, like, 25 people were going full fucking, like, Royal Rumble, and it was yeah. at a carnival. So then, like, so these cops are getting in, they're breaking up his fight, and he ends up fucking, he choked a girl out. And as he's, like, he's, like, has this girl, he's, like, stop, blah, blah, blah. Other, the other people are coming in, like, punching the cops in the face. People are going nuts in this thing. But, yeah, wow. they're saying, like, they were calling, this was, like, they are like, Did she tap, or did he sleep her? 
she didn't go to sleep. She was just like, <sighs> and then like people saw her, I guess like him choking the cop. They're like, bah. at the same time, dude, if there's a 50 person fight, people could die. So it's like, if you're going in there. You know what's funny? I thought this was honkies. No. Until you said people are around going, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right really? then I was like, oh, it's black people. Yeah, this is, yeah, there's a black lady. I knew you did that. Well, you did that. What? To do, blah, 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 blah. Well, that's what was going on at. Yeah. Let it, dude, so then they had like a city council meeting. Oh, dude, it was crazy. Instantly, I was like, oh, I thought this was honks. This wasn't honks, dude. I thought it was wild honks. No, nah, this wasn't no wild. There could be some honks in there. Those are wild was, honks, dude. There's some wild honks, dude. This was fucking... Uh, <laughs> so they, there were probably not that many penises. That's why I was like, oh, that's about why, yeah. But no, there still were some relative penises. So there was, there might have been some teenies fucking flopping around. You <laughs> meaty teenies, dude. Real meaty teenies. <laughs> some teenies, I, you know, I They'd wouldn't They'd call mind. it teenies, but I'd be like, well, take One it. man's teenies is another man's <laughs> fucking hog, dude. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> and that's important to live by. You got to remember that. Dude, they had the fucking, uh, they had like a press conference. They had like an open meeting the next day. <laughs> they had a like press con- conference. It was concerned, so funny. concerned citizens. So they have, they're like, I guess they're like commissioner, Norristown's commissioner. I don't know who this guy was. But he uh, he definitely was the one fielding all the all the angry black people afterwards, being like, "You guys got to stop choking!" Literally, it was just a uh, you see the video, it's all black people <gasps> in there, and the one the one lady goes full fucking like like traditional African garb, and it's in there <sighs> like, "Dude, it's a teenage girl," and the guy's like, "Yeah, no," the, the, the guy the police guy is like, "Yeah, it is," but like. That was a really fucked up situation to go handle. There's like 50 people fighting, and I can guarantee you. He's like, the guy starts off, he's like, Norristown's not a racist police department. He's like, this was just a really shitty situation. And he's like, we had to control it. And they were like, well, uh. then they interviewed just some white guy on his porch, and he was like, I was there. I filmed it on my phone. They didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> he was just kind of like, <laughs> of course. He's like, I have two kids. This, no, this dude was a wild honky, though. So this guy, like, he almost was a street urchin where it's just totally unidentifiable race. This guy was like, could have, I don't know what the fuck this guy was. Neck tat, gym shorts. Yeah, dude, this yeah. guy was a street urchin. Tan, like, real weird tan. Sh- facial hair? Yeah, for sure. Had yeah. like, a, like a weird spike going on. He was just kind of like, so they, they had like. So he was like a boardwalk person. Very boardwalk localish. Street urchins are, street urchins are just when boardwalk locals find their way into a city, a major metropolitan yeah, yeah, yeah. area. And you're like, hmm. sir, what's your. What's your ethnicity? You know? <laughs> Don't know. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, What's your a- ethnicity, <laughs> sir? Excuse me, sir. No idea. They just sent it back, dude. On a fucking on a, on what's it called? On ancestry, there's like street, hundred percent street, <laughs> <urchin>. street <laughs> urchins, <laughs> origins, Ocean City, New Jersey, <laughs> Atlantic City, street urchins. Yeah, dude, they crawled out of the sea. <laughs> they did. They're like early in evolution. There was like a fish that crawled onto the boardwalk and just I forget started what I to walk. Some guy was just like, I don't know, this fucking guy's like a street urchin. I don't know what the fuck he is. A street urchin so funny. <laughs> So it's, a street, yeah. it's street urchin. Urchin, yeah. Like an urchin. Like, yeah, like a fucking urchin, yeah. stationary, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. mollusk type, yeah, like a boat <laughs> latches on to something. I don't know. It's like, you know, it could be anyone. You could look, if you look at him with like one eye closed, like, I think he's Asian. If you're like, that's a white guy. You're like, I don't know what the fuck this guy is. Yeah. They're a bunch of logics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like logic. <laughs> yeah. And Pete Davidson and logic. Yeah. It's just, he's they're all urchin. Pete Davidson. Street urchin. <laughs> <laughs> But usually they'll rock some wild fucking gear, dude. It'll be like prison tats and a fucking wife beater, and you'll see this guy, and you're just like, "Oh the fuck you!" Yeah, up? they're wearing that Shaq gear from Walmart. Yeah, dude. So like a fucking interview, exactly. a full basketball uniform from like <laughs> Rucker Park from the '90s. It'll be like a ball. Remember the chain and ball necklace that was really sick. Like if you were in the corner, it'd be like rocking one of those and spike. Yeah. And like, but he went on there. He was like, "I got two kids, seven and nine. I was watching film some of it. He was like, I mean." They did what they had to do. That was a... He's like, that's... That's urchin justice, though. Yeah, dude. That's exactly. street urchin justice. You I don't think, want dude, that. That's a... I mean, again, it's like, I, I wasn't there, but it's like, if you're going to break up a fight of 50 people, how are you How are you going to... And then if they were like, just sat there and watched 50 kids fight and like two kids died because they were trampled to death, yeah. then it's like, what the fuck? Why they just sat there and did nothing? It's yeah. like, how do you break up a fucking fight? If you're getting punched in the face by like nine, the video is like four people coming in and hitting this guy, and he's just like, stop. And he's fucking, stop. has something. He's like, stop. And then, like, dude, he's like, punch. There's another guy fucking punching back. It's wild, dude. Imagine going at your job and having to fight, fist fight 50 fucking teenagers. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's awesome. That was full double dragon, dude. Those guys went in there, and it was just, Billy, just went back to back. It was just Billy and Jimmy, dude. They went back to back and were like, you ready to do this? Yeah. It was like a 2D scrolling thing of young teenagers, dude. It was so fucking funny. That's awesome. 
Yeah, dude. I the mean, North, uh, Norristown Police Department fucking... I got to ask Sid the Kid about that. Sid the Kid's from Norristown. I, dude, I was just thinking how much I loved Sid the Kid. Dude, he was great. He was me up great this weekend. This weekend. Just, he was just stuck in the green room, dude. He's he so get out. He was too high. You gave him, what did he have? Creepy, uh, Keefy Crawler. He had a Keefy Crawler. Keefy Crawler. Crawler. That's, I mean, that might be the best of that, dude. Really? I got to have I'm very, I'm very musk like. I'm not going to like copy trade out. I just want to put it out to the people. Just like a weed gummy that you. Uh, dude, you know what would be sick if you started making Creepy Crawler uh, Keefy Crawler? ovens? Ooh. Like, remember those toys? Yeah. If you made those, just pour this in, pour this in, and it makes makes you a Keefy crawler. Yeah, but you see the process itself. You could do that, but you could just make the gummies. It'd be, it would be uh, dry sift hash sold separately. Because the, the mixture on the... It's just like weed gummy rolled in hash, citric acid, and sugar. So it's like a Sour Patch Kid, but it's just rolled in... Could you make a Creepy Keefe. Crawler oven type toy? No, because you don't make gummies in an oven. You're thinking of an easy bake. Creepy, no, but what creepy are the creepy crawlers, crawlers were like, like a plastic gelatin. action figures. No, they were like little them. jelly. Yeah, you didn't eat them. No, but it was like making, little jelly. Making gummies things. is more of a boil. Creepy candy. crawlers were not plastic. Creepy they, crawlers were like the same texture as like a gummy bear. But they weren't edible. I know, but I'm fucking saying, could you make them edible? No, that's the thing. When you cook, I'm All telling right. you, when you cook gummies, you can't cook gummies in an oven. You got to cook them in a the thing. You See, be, this is you you, be, this is the difference between be somebody like you dude. and Musk, dude. Musk would come up with a way. I you mean, just sit back and say it's impossible. I sit here and say things like, "Let's <laughs> let's do it." I'm, dude, I'm, I'm Chef a dreamer. Boy, I'm Chef nah, Boyard you're beans, fucking, You're dude. trapped in this basic world. I'm out here. I'm. This you're, is your must. Is sixty chess. <laughs> I'm like, how can we make kids' toys to make edible weed? No, dude, you you have to cook. You cook. Ooh, we playing footsie? Are you footsie me? This is about to be lemon party. <laughs> I'll fucking suck your dick right here. I'm gonna lay on my side. And put my we gotta get one more. We gotta you, get dude. fucking Dorian back here and run a train on him. <laughs> he's a little sweet fucking. Oh, dude. He's a sweet Hispanic. Oh, he's boy. a treat, dude. He's a sweet lad. He's a little churro, he's dude. A I little chorito, dude. <laughs> Dip him in sugar. I call, I call dibs on him a long time ago. You, yeah, I, I remember that. Pretty much when he was new, you were like, I go fuck him. I call fuck him. I called first I called dibs, dibs as soon as we break him up. People open. don't know this about the Philly comedy scene. Me and Shane were very, uh, very much like the people think the government works with like tons of satanic rituals. If you want to get to the, if you want to get on helium regularly, you got to like spray like goat's blood and come all over yourself. And then let me and Shane fuck you, dude. We're very 1% in terms of <laughs> very. <laughs> Any, any young male comics on the come up, they got to If you see anyone who's got on the list from like 2014 onwards, they've definitely sucked. They dude. submitted to us. Definitely sucked. They us. were little brats. Oh, for sure. They were dude. open mic brats. Whenever I hear someone like, why don't I get on the list? I finally walk up to them in the Helium Alley and I'm like, you know what you need to do? And come to 621. Pass them the note, dude. Give them the address and say, be here at 3 a.m. Yeah, dude. The witching hour. Kill your fucking young niece. 3 a.m., dude. You got to sacrifice a life. Sacrifice life your life, niece dude. to TikTok. <laughs> you got to give us one video of your niece singing on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's very, there's a lot of fucking a lot of secret society dark pedophilic stuff going stuff. on. Oh, here. yeah, for sure. <sighs> This is it. We're in Epstein's Island, dude. This is getting spooky. Dorian's our fucking cash oh, cow. Ooh, ooh, you turn ooh, I turn the lights off. off. It's Jeez. very spooky in here. Dude, I'm... Wow. It's going to get real scary. Do you hear about the fucking uh, Asian guy who got... It was a journalist. He got... They're thinking there's foul play. He died. How so? Well, he... Uh, he I just got real... I just started thinking of all the spookiest things I That's could think of now. That's spooky stuff. Dude, dude. so he Killing was, an Asian journal? He was a public defender. And he he ran like his own little independent news source where he was like a police brutality watchdog. So somehow he got his hands on a leaked he's poli- a tasty internal police watchdog, memo. He's a tasty watchdog, dude. He's a tasty watchdog. He would eat this watchdog, <laughs> dude. So he got his hands on a police memo, and he was uh, the police found out, and they were like, "Give us your source." And he was like, "No, as a journalist, I'm not giving you my source." And they with their own camera, the police took a sledgehammer to his door, came into his house, and like took all confiscated all of his property and shit. And then not long after, if I'm getting the story right, not long after, he had an overdose of cocaine and alcohol. And now he's dead. Yeah, dude. And everyone's just kind of saying foul play, dude. Dude, that's fucked up. Very spooky. The local, the local. (laughs) (laughs) Turn the light back on now. It's spooky. Not too spooky. Isn't that fucking, I I know, I couldn't really see you. Local police fucking breaking in and giving you too much blow. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't know what happened to him. But they broke in, stole all the shit, because he was basically investigating some sort of police case that he thought was corrupt. He was a public defender, so he was on the inside. He was probably looking up Kai. He was probably trying to free that hitchhiker. Probably was. Where dude. was he? Where California. Was he really? Yeah, dude. Uh oh. 
Yep. We might have stumbled. You better keep your mouth shut. Or I I'm going to I'm going to end up ODing on coke, exactly, and there's going to be a dude. bit of a conspiracy it's behind it. Clearly, be the San Francisco police on that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> coke and booze. They I'll fucking put a they guzzled him with twisted teas, dude, and fucking shot him with coke, and that was it. That was a wrap. Went out partying though. Gave him a case of twisties and a fucking eight ball, and they were like, "It's done. It is done. Dude. We're out of here." How do you? Yeah, that's a white man's trick against the Asians for a long time. You think so? Getting them on drugs. True. It's been an ancient trick. Dropping dude. them the opium wars and shit. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to control the Chinese. You got to fucking you got to drug them out. True. You think we've made up anime for that purpose? You th- no, that wasn't honkies, was it? Mm. Could have been a. Psy-op. You think we could have? You think nah, that was the they, CIA? Uh, they might have. When all the opium ran out, they got their shit together. Like, all right, enough. Un- you think un- the CIA is administering anime to the black community? Mm, could you think be. so? Trying to Did cut. black people fuck with anime? I know they fuck with. Love I know they anime. love anime. I'm thinking anime porn, but I mean, if you watch anime, you'll yep. probably watch anime porn. Definitely. Speaking from experience, have you watched anime porn? Fuck yeah. Have you come to it? Fuck yeah. Really? Definitely. I can't get into it anymore, but I remember I was like real into cartoon porn for a while. Damn. Yeah, that's just, a world I could never even. I even wanted to get into it, and I couldn't. Oh. Yeah, well, I wanted to, and I did, and then I was just kind of, after a while, I was just like, I, I can't watch it. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I, dude, I told you, Savita Bobby was like, that was... Oh, yeah, that's right. You love Savita Bobby. You know what was? It's I remember hot my Indian. friend had, like, OG Predator comic books that showed tits, and I remember when I was younger, I saw that, and I was like, Jesus Christ, that's the fucking best thing yeah. ever. And then I, you know... Soder gave me a comic book. Show tits? That has, yeah. It's dude. called The Boys. What? They're actually making a show about it on Amazon now. It's a fucking sick ass show. Or what? like the book, like I mean, I read them. I have them when I'm taking shits. Yeah. Pretty good. Comic books you, are good for dumps. Comic books are nice. I'm surprised Elite, you read them. Dumb. I know that's the only You're comic a bully, book, I've, dude. Only comic book I've ever read. Should have punched him as soon as I, he gave it to you. Didn't finish them, but still liked them. <laughs> I scanned the Predator and saw tits. My friend showed. That was my that was my experience with comic books. My friend was like, "There's tits in my comic books." I was like, "These things are fucking." Lame. This is like a Show world. Me tits and I was like, "Give me that." Yeah, this is like that. a world where superheroes are assholes. Yeah, they're like they're basically the same as like celebrities and like athletes and like. Gotcha. So like they fuck and they like fuck prostitutes to death and shit. What? Yeah, it's a dark yeah. comic book. It is dark, and the boys are, are the group of dudes that like control them. Basically, I'm like out. the Watchmen. Patriarchy, basically. The boys come in and fucking kill Who are the superheroes. Boys? Played by Jared Leto. The CIA fucking, you know, the gov, really? the government's behind it. The government helps the boys. Every time the superheroes get out of control, the government's like, all right, boys. Is it like boys, B Y B O Y Z? No. This it's is British. Plain old it wasn't boys. cool enough. It's the boyos, dude? They're the boyos, dude. What? It's a weird fuck. It is weird. I, so I, couldn't, I couldn't fully get into it. Boys were superheroes? Yeah. And they're making this in a show? They, Amazon's making it. I can't fuck with superheroes, dude. It's tough. Although that one superhero movie looks sick. What? Uh, It's about like if Superman was evil. It's basically if Superman was an incel. He fucks the school up. He yeah. like he finds school out he's shooter. God. Yeah, we've seen this movie. True, we made it. We <laughs> just made it prequel. two weeks ago. We wrote it. True that. That's true. That got me thick. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, like I said, I I go watch the Marvel stuff with my babe, but like. I can't even. I, I just, dude, I ate a fucking. I went and saw Infinity, not Infinity, whatever it's called, Endgame. Yeah. And I ate a. I'll eat like a. I'll sneak a heavy edible and I'll go into the. Like, I'll just like sit there and just watch. It was three fucking hours. And I was like, there's no way I'm fucking dealing with this. Dude, so I I made tea. I had this like little coconut oil concoction, put it in some tea, ripped some tea before I went. And dude, it was so weird because I was watching this movie and I'm like, I think must not have kicked in. I was like, what the fuck? That's so weird. And I was like, yeah, maybe my tolerance is getting stronger. I like left after the movie. To t- she was like watching. It's like you know the credits come yeah, up. Yeah, and then the you see comes the up. So I was like, right, I'm gonna hit the bathroom before the other thing comes up. Dude, I walked out and I was like, I am fuck. I am high as fuck. And I was like, really. Oh. Sometimes you get so high, you don't like you feel almost sober. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but yeah. you're just like you. I've done, I used to smoke myself sober all the time, where you just get so high, you hit a point where you're like, I'm sober now. It's weird, but like I was like I was in the uh, I went into the bathroom and I was just like. What the fuck? And there's for some reason this bathroom, it's the AMC on Broad Street near Temple. There's no mirror in the bathroom. You just wash your hands at a sink, and there's just a tile wall. So like I, I like walked right past that. I'm like sitting there pissing in the urinal. You know when you're like really high, and all of a sudden you're like, this is wrong. 
Like something's wrong. Yeah. It's all wrong right Every now. Every fucking time I Dude, get high. So this is so I'm sitting there. I'm I'm starting to go down a rabbit hole. I'm like I thought I wasn't high. I'm actually high as fuck right now. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, da, da, da. Dude, it was the day Saturday of the second show. So I'm like, that. Wait, you got high that day. That afternoon, I was <laughs> so fucking high, and, and I'm in the bathroom, and I'm sitting there, and, I'm, and I didn't think I was gonna. I think I was gonna be like that. So I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Literal red pill, blue pill moment. I'm in there, and I was just. My little penis, I'm holding, I'm peeing, and I was just like, no, I'm not fucking doing this. And I, dude, just completely reversed it and was just like, not going to be a fucking pussy about this at all. And nice. just turned it off. Dude. It's crazy. That's I great. I can't explain it. And I'm, I'm, that's, been my, that's been what I've tried to work on lately. That's and I've been Getting trying to explain high as fuck and it's super off. high, and you you get yourself where you're like, "This is wrong. I'm everything's wrong." And like, dude, I was walking by the the fact that there wasn't a mirror that bothered me. I was like, "There's not a fucking mirror. This is fucking weird. Everything's weird as fuck right now, dude." But I had fully just been like, "Nah, dude, that shit's fucking. I'm not doing that." And just completely champed it and was riding like a. I was riding like a full. Just man wave. I was like, I'm a fucking man, dude. This shit doesn't bother me, dude. Yeah. It was so tight, dude. I was Damn. walking around in my champion zip up, like I'm a fucking grown man. New dude. champion zip up. A little bit of weed doesn't nice. knock me off course, dude. It was fucking I'm telling you. That's there's a there's a thing to be had by doing that, and it's like it's not like a a one time like change. Like I, I totally changed my whole personality. It's just, you can get into the space where you grab the ship and you just go and you just pull the, the thing a little bit and you can tweak it just a tiny little bit. Then it all yeah. wears off, and you're just like, I'm my usual fucking bitch-ass fat gay self. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, if you get in there enough, dude, you can tweak it. I'm telling I can't you, risk it. You have to I do can't it. risk riding those waves, it, dude. dude. You have to ride the waves. I can't crash into those waves. Dude, I've tried every single time I get high. Well, what was weird was like when I was like 19. If I, I saw no mirrors, I would go into a... I'd freak out. I'd be like, purple I can't have mirrors here because people keep breaking them because this is a <laughs> shitty neighborhood and this is a bad place and I'm in a bad place. And yeah. And what kind of asshole would break a mirror? And then I'd go like, dude, just, I've been flipping it to where it's like, instead of being like, I'm so fucked up. I'm like, no, I'm enhanced right now. And I just like, dude, I can you turn. It's like your whole body responds totally different based off like that little different tweak of thought. It's crazy. All right. It is fucking maybe I'll, crazy. Maybe I'll get super fucking high this week. We have to do it, dude. Do you think? Yeah. You think that's a good choice? Yes, and you have to do it. And you have to you have to just completely rely on yourself and just battle it. Dude. I can't rely on myself. You can, dude. That's what I used to think. I used to be able to like gobble mushrooms and all this kind of stuff, and it was like no problem. And then when I was like twenty three, I started getting real bad anxiety, and it, it took me back to ground zero. Where like I'd smoke a little bit of weed and bug out, and I've been fighting a fight, dude, for years. Now I'm I'm, I'm getting back up there. Where I'm like, yes, I. Can that's a very. That, I mean, most shamans think that way. Yeah, like you got to enter the darkness and fight your way you out. You do, dude. I'm telling you, I avoid it. But you, but that's my. That's why I like microdosing. A lot of people are like, oh, shit's for fucking pussies. It's like, all right, all right. If you can just gobble fucking tabs of acid, you know, kudos to you. But it's nice to take regular Joes and like, here's a little bit of mushrooms, dude. You know, get through that weird little like, oh, this is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. Da, da, da. You can battle through it, dude. I said I have ice cubes now. I have an, I have a whole ice cube tray that's dedicated to like I throw my little. So I, I graduate my little mushroom dosages where it starts out light, the next row is a little heavier, 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 and I put them in there with like a little bit of lemon juice. So the lemon juice activates them, and they just go in the freezer, and they're just sitting there. So you just pop an ice cube out, chuck it in your tea, and like you're ready to roll, dude. Wow. Yeah, dude. I'm, yeah. So you're now you're that I'm out, out of school, I, I have shit. time. I have time now that I'm out of school. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, the Patreon's about to get popping. The Myth Patreon, dude. I, I've already hit people talk up. To so the, talk to some boys. Talk myths. I got two people lined up. So. Booty and Tarpy. No, I got to talk to Booty and Tarpy, dude. They'll, be, they'll I have listen two to people. Some yeah, I have two people right now, and I the have Pittsburgh uh, dogs will listen. I got. They'll trust me. They'll once they start popping off, it'll be tight. Shout out to the Pittsburgh. Dude, dogs. I've been manning the email too. Yeah. Did you see the one show that once it gets on, the God Show? I've never heard no. of this before. It's a oh, show yeah, where this email? guy talks about he like they talk. He as is God. God. Yeah, and we could talk to God through this guy. They want to do a crosscast or just do have us on their podcast. One yeah. So I was like, I'm about to go on there and disrupt. I'm a, I'm a, I mean, I'm a duelist, dude. They don't, they don't want us on there. I'm gonna go on there and be the devil. Like I'm Definitely. the fucking devil, dude. I'm just gonna say that this is corny. I'm a duelist, dude. I'm like, I'm a fucking. I'm gonna go as me and say that your idea sucks, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, we should do it. We should disrupt right. the Godcast. I'll fuck with them. Me as a fucking alchemist. I'll fuck heavy with them, <laughs> dude. I don't, the guy's claiming he's doing big numbers, so. Yeah, they. I thought it was a, ge a generic email at first. I was like, oh, this guy sends us out to like a hundred people. Um, what time is it? Where are we at? Yeah, we're we're at like an hour and a half, dude. All right, that's enough. Yeah, let's. Run. I've had enough of this. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm Musk. You're fucking no, Bezos. You're, you're, not you're Bezos, Musk. dude. 
All right, you got some sick ass shows and <laughs> no, you're I, I, I'll, I'll take Bezos. Dude, I'm Bezos, very corporate. I'm, I'm a enough. corporate machine, dude. I I actually make shit. Fair Bezos enough. doesn't or fucking Musk isn't doing shit, dude. Yeah, he, dude. He just comes out and says he's gonna do the coolest shit in the world. Exactly. And everyone's like, wow, what a genius. Yeah, we're gonna live on Mars this week, dude. It's he's like, all right, let me see it. He made it possible. He's a fucking dildo, dude. Nah, dude. We're trying to smear him. <laughs> no, don't, no doubt smear him. Uh, the 7th and 8th of June. Where are you going? I'll be down in... I'll be at the Tampa Improv <laughs> with Big J. So if you're a Florida boy, Ooh. come out. 7th and 8th of June. Tampa, with, north or south? Tampa. What? Is that north or south? Of what? Florida. Florida. Tampa? Yeah. Is it north of Florida? No, is it north or south Florida? Oh, I was like, God damn, dude. <laughs> uh, it's like the west coast of Florida. Oh, so central? southern, not on the... Oh, yeah, right, it so you're is down central. south. You're not, I believe it is central. You're not up in the fucking north no, Florida? No, no, we've been up there. Not in that <laughs> fucking... That. Not in that, that panhandle. <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, the 14th and 15th of June, I'll be at Bananas. That's a headlining weekend. Uh, Bananas, I'll be headlining there. Uh, the 20, uh, 21st, 22nd Skank Fest. And that's it for now. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to do a live, the live we might cast be doing it. a live cast at Skank Fest. We might. Might be. Wow. Is that what you were about to say? No, I thought I thought I was just going to go up there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're... I thought it was... I uh, think we're trying to get... It. I'll talk to him and see if we can. I thought it was a secret. Yeah. What? It was. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought you were about to say it. My bad. No, that's okay. that's no problem. It's not. It's not even close to. Got you. It's not. I'm the not sure if that's happening. Finalized no sure. deal has been finalized. True. But yeah, seventh and eighth Tampa, fourteenth, fifteenth Bananas, and then Skankfest. Hell yeah. So that's it. But yeah, come out to Bananas if you can, because I'm headlining that weekend and Bananas is going to be lit, dude. Bananas will be lit. I need people <laughs> to come out because otherwise it's just wops. Ooh. It's just Oy, geezer dude. wops, dude. It's and it's a, it's a, and it's in a hotel. You might need the dogs like in North to buttress Jersey. you against the red, the red guard, dude. I need the dogs up there to buttress me against the old wops. Yeah, dude. Those fucking noodle fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> I hate those fucking hook nose wops, They're dude. Tough, I hate dude. wop. My niece is half wop. Really? That's why she's on the TikTok. And you love her. That's why she's on it. She sings doo wop only. Really? <laughs> she goes on. Yeah, she's a Jersey boy. <laughs> I was making fun of her for being a wop. Oh, because we were singing Fetty Wop. Yeah. And I was making fun of Fetty Wap, saying he was an Italian. He was oh a Wap. Oh, God. It's like, hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> like, and I was making fun of her for being a Wap. How she take to being called a Wap? She she was laughing. She thinks it's funny. She has a good sense of humor, yeah. Nice. I was like, every time you get in a pool, like your above ground swimming pool, there's a slick layer of oil on top of it when you swim because of all the grease, you dirty Wap. <laughs> you know, just nice stuff an uncle says yeah. <laughs> to a 12-year-old. <laughs> um. Yeah, come out to Bananas, dude. I need people there. Yeah. All right. All right. I've said my piece. Thanks to everybody that came out yeah. this past week in the Hilly. I'm sure it was sick. All you guys are great. Thanks. Praise the Lord, I was born to drive boat. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit, I smoke is like cholesterol. Spill dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that there was naked fall.